You're awesome, everybody, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast, where we only have one guest, yeah. and that guest is Talia Mar. <laughs> oh, oh my god! This gosh. is my podcast now. Yeah, right. yeah. The thing well, is, I wouldn't go that far. Wow. No, yeah. Well, no, it's not. Yeah, you were, <laughs> yeah, hold on, you were with you us last it. week. No, I know, but yeah. Actually, we have a question for you. Oh. First Green? guest with the oh, wall. Yeah. What color would you like this to be? Pink. It's over there, lad. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, well, I don't know where the, where's the remote. Right, literally right there. Oh, I can see it, I can get it. <laughs> you stitch me up. Stitch you up? I don't know if, be, I don't know if it's quite a stitch up. Go on, ready? Oh, it's Anyone big. listening to this audio is going to be like, oh. Nah, they've Just learned picture, to deal with it. Picture they, the, they've learned to live with there's it. There's a light strip and it's now pink. <sighs> I've been stitched up. Did it. you forget? I forgot. And then I, I saw Talia's face and I thought. Pink. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I don't, I don't know. No. No, pink. I'm just showing people the different flavors we've got. Different liquor, different okay, well, the here. wall is now one? pink. No! I wish we could get this. No. <laughs> Sorry, what a weird start. I okay. wish we could change color of this. This yeah. is so dope. That would be really like if we cool. get this to match that. Yeah. yeah, but we can't, so we move on. We will get a new one one day. But... Post. Uh, yeah. So Tali is back. Bye. Um. Even though people didn't really want her to come back ever again. Wow. Uh, Neither did we, but she was like, she well just, done. we were setting was, up right. We had some food before we started and she just didn't move. Uh, oh. like, she was also like, guys, I've got a single coming out. Please. Yeah. Like, oh please. my God. Like, I think I've heard what actually happened is a couple of days ago, someone went, we haven't got anyone. Do you, do you mind going on again? No, I was I went, like, all right. And went, then I bought everyone food. Can we, can we clear up that my voice is not <laughs> like that? My voice was... I don't think Josh can make this week. Um, oh, I don't can you be Josh a backup? Can make this week. Yeah, you did buy us food. To be fair, yeah, you, you did buy us food, which I, which I do yeah. appreciate. What happened? You're was... welcome for the roof. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice card. We got the new setup, and I was like, you know what? It'd be good to have a guest mm -hmm. with the new setup. Yeah. Oh, Couldn't is this get... your first one with this setup? Yeah. No, no, no. First guest. Oh. Okay. We did one last week. Yeah, yeah, you did. And it was amazing. We're here. Yeah. It's, it's probably going to be better than this one. So I, 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 oh, I'm not going to say click off. Yeah, but so don't fair, as watching. a joke, anyway. You've yeah. been streaming over there. Yes. This is a much cooler background. Oh yeah, much cooler. Has it been good? Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. I've I had to probably move the desk a little bit because I adjust yeah. the camera and I just sit over and I'm yeah. not in the middle of my desk anymore. You've and got a lot like, of room to be fair over there. Yeah, to move it across. Yeah, so. but yeah it's I mean, you could fun. just move the camera. Yeah, I could, but it's effort. As opposed to moving the desk. <laughs> No, I'm not going to do that though, realistically. True, it's just true. a show. You're like, oh, I'm moving out in uh, six months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, need, you need to stop tweeting the, the things, don't you? I know. It's actually genuinely, it's a... Um, Tyler keeps tweeting about uh, getting an apartment or... And being like, yes, I've offered, they've accepted it. And then they're like, psych, bitch. Did we, did we speak about this on a podcast? I don't think Most we did. Most likely two years ago, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess for those who don't know what happened, like you've had many... You, you, had, you actually moved into an apartment, right? Mm -hmm. But you didn't have internet. Yeah. So you had to get like business internet. Yeah. That's gonna be like five hundred pounds a month. Am I right in saying? Yeah. And it's and more the time. It's, yeah. yeah. And yeah. they said it take three months. So I stayed here for those three months, and then literally a week before it was meant to get fitted, they were like, "It's gonna be probably another three months." And yeah. I was screw like, that. Right. But, but you dodged it anyway, because even still, well, the flat might have been nice. I mean, but I'm yeah. saying is five hundred pounds is still ridiculous for internet. Yeah. yeah. It, it might not even be good though. You know, yeah. it, it might not be like top speed. Yeah. 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 It just it, it's no, just, it wasn't. It was yeah. five hundred for like five hundred meg, I think. Mm. Um, but I was like, I mean, <laughs> I'll take that when I've got one mega up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. Then the next one fell through, then the next one. Yeah. I'm not trying next, to make you feel next, sad. I'm just, I'm just trying to bring <laughs> up, put a context. In and the then last, the next one. <laughs> in the last two weeks, I've had, I've put four offers on. Four? Th five. Two got accepted. That's three and up to five within the whole thing. <laughs> no, no, because two got accepted and then they ended up pulling. I like I paid and then they pulled out, which is just unheard. You of. keep paying deposits. So I've paid two deposits. They, they give me money back. Well, you know we've still not got our deposit back from from, from we've moved three times. We've got not got a single Actually, deposit. Actually, wait, back. I haven't got my deposit back from my first flat. I just realised. Damn, you two about to have field day. Thank you for that. We have right. to do a little email thing. I don't think we got our deposit back, but. We don't deserve it back. <laughs> <laughs> we don't deserve it. The swimming pool. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know you. I didn't know you meant the, the flat or the house. Probably both. <laughs> <laughs> no, we made a swimming right. pool. Wait, you get the puns back? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully soon. But it's been a blessing in disguise because you guys have been living together for a few months. We. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's been nice. <laughs> it's actually been all right, yeah. considering this isn't like. An ideal situation because obviously it's not my flat. We don't have the room. Oh, could it, thing is, it could have been so much worse. Like, imagine if you like you couldn't stream here. No, I imagine know. you couldn't even stay I here. I actually don't know what I'd have 
done. Yeah. Like I'd have, or I'd have had to have just moved and paid for two apartments. You, you, yeah, you have to get an apartment you don't want. Yeah. You know. Um, but you do actually have a single coming out. That, oh like, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, like I was yeah. saying it like oh, as a joke. Promo, yeah, no, but I do. She actually does. Hi. Comes out this Friday mm-hmm. called Good On Me. No, Good On You. Exactly, Good On Me. No. Oh, banter. Good on 9th you. of April. 9th of April, yeah, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that smile. Yeah, I did it. Oh, uh, Banner 9th of April. 9th of April with Alex Hobson. Very excited. Oh, toot, toot. I said that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, it's like a dance That's track. actually how it goes. <laughs> that's what I did Alex, that, though. Dun, dun, dun. Have, you, have you heard the, the snippet? There was a snip, you've put a snippet out. Yeah, well. whole, the whole chorus has been revealed. Yeah. Mm. Literally, as soon as it goes from the chorus to the verse, the verse is... <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. I think it's a really good song. It is a really it's, good song. It's very... It's completely different to anything I've... Like, I'm not a dance artist and I never will be a dance artist. But I know, it's fun. I was about to say... <gasps> I was about to say, I think it's my favorite song you've ever done. And then Tyler's like, it's different to anything I've ever done before. <laughs> <laughs> it's also not my song. Well, not feature. then. No, but I really... I just really like it. It sounds yeah. very, very it's nice. It's a banger. It's, I really like it. It's a banger. I'm so you are a feature yes. on it. Sometimes on DJ tracks, it's like you're the main deal still. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah, I'm the only vocal. Where, yeah, you're the main deal unless your voice is changed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless, yeah. Like, like a pitch up or a pitch yeah. down. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like yeah. lighter, for example. Yeah, you can't necessarily tell it's Ella Henderson. Yeah, I thought I was, saying, I was like, <laughs> that is public knowledge, right? <laughs> no, but that's what I mean. Like, that was me. But I think <laughs> I've been nominated for Brits. Thank you. <laughs> but if the voice wasn't changed, Everyone would be like, oh, man, and it'd be a lot more like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, public. oh, yeah, it is Tyler, but like, yeah, but yeah, you know, I get yeah. you, I get you. But it's a very good song. It's very good. Thanks. Get ready to hear it in everyone's Twitch streams. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Over and over again. Not you. You're not getting DMCA free. Damn. <laughs> no, you don't stream on Twitch. I don't stream on Twitch. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't have I used to stream once a week when we did Among Us. I Back miss, in the good old I days. Miss Among Us. Yeah, we'll talk about it later, to be fair. How the new season dropped. Well, the new. New map. Map, and we've not. Well, we've, we've, did you play it? Nope. Me neither. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that we'll talk later. About it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, bring it. Uh, we'll go what's good section first. Well, I'll say first of all, I want to announce that I'm wearing a um, uh, uh, a woolly jumper, you know, woolly jumper, and Simon said I never would, and here I am wearing it. So proved you wrong. He walked into the flat and went, It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. It is really it's hot. It's so in hot this today. Room, well, even today, like, I was in I'm the cab, boiling. like, I wore, here? I wore a roll yeah. neck, even. I didn't even need to wear the roll neck, roll neck part, but it's, it's the only one I had that fits me still. I was going to say, I don't just... think you can wear a roll neck jumper without the roll neck part. No, you can't. No, yeah. <laughs> I was saying just... <sighs> yeah, but I mean, it could, it could be a cardigan without. She's too hot in here, by the way. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, but, but make it cold if you want, then. Do you want You want to? I've got off already. <laughs> oh, well, he's actually telling me to get up. He wanted to make it, like, 16 no, in here before. I'm just joking. I'll, I'll, do you want me to turn it down? No, no, it's all right. Yeah, I'm fine, though. He wanted to turn it down to, like, 16. Yeah, no, because then later when I'm streaming, I'll be like... <laughs> I remember freezing. the good old days in the house. I used to be able to have that on because I, I used to stay there as well. Innit? So if I was round, oh well, no, actually, to be fair, no. At that point, when we didn't podcast. I would stay downstairs. In yeah, room. and that room would be cold in Deji's room. <laughs> you did the podcast back in the house. Yeah, it's been that long. Yeah, we started it up in the top room. Oh my god! Yeah, around the table. Memory unlocked. That was weird, innit? As well, we had a table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe people preferred that, but I see a couple comments every now and then that are like, "Oh, we really like like there should be a table and there should yeah. be a lounge chairs." I think that because if we weren't in lounge chairs, it'd be a lot more like we have to know what we're talking about. Yeah, I yeah. feel like because we're sat in this, we can literally just be idiots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Listen, no, no one wants to hear our opinion, guys. You have to remember, like you know, if we say an opinion, it just gets slated regardless. So yeah. we may as well just be, yeah, just, uh, boring old men. Come to us to listen to a conversation that is like not smart. You know, <laughs> no, has no re- relevance on the actual world at all. But you want to just. Kill time for two, three hours. Yeah. Go like, go like Jack May, True Geordie, if you want to hear like real cutting edge, like stories in people's lives and stuff. Fellas, I reckon a bit of both, you know? Yeah. I think they're more catered to, uh, it's not like hard hitting. That's but, for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they'll delve into but some topics. There'll be some topics. Though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we just talk sure. about like Among Us and, you know, rice gum and stuff. <laughs> Do yeah. you like chocolate? Light <laughs> on, light off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at articulating myself, like explaining things. I'll, I'll watch it back and I'll be like. You did that quite well. You used the word articulate. That was nice. It's a word. Yeah, but it was well used. I was just joking. I'm really good anyway. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's just in me normal. You know, uh, speaking of like podcasts that have different styles. Yeah. Joe Rogan's one. Mm. I, I saw a TikTok today. The one I sent you. I sent you one of I Joe Rogan's. I think our For You page is exactly, exactly the same, you know. Every time Harry links one in the chat, 
I've had it in, on mine like in the last day or so. I'm intrigued to hear what this is. By the way, I want to let you know. I did. I did just say I'm not really good at articulating, but today I'll be I'll be exceptional because I'm wearing a roll neck. Okay. <laughs> Next week you should turn up in glasses. Yeah. You, Oh, I will. Or a monocle. I, said, I, said to Laura, I literally said to Laura, should I take some whiskey and a whiskey glass and sit on a podcast with some whiskey? And I would have done it. The only reason I didn't is because we have no table anymore. So I don't want to spill it. We need to buy a plant for here, to be fair. Yeah, a plant and a little fridge. table. Mini fridge. Yeah. Or a mini fridge. Oh, mini fridge with a little plant on top. Oh. Oh, a little succulent. A little cactus. No, not a cactus. But, isn't that a succulent? Because uh, it sucks up water. I think it might be in the same category, yeah. Because, you know, it's in desert and deserts no water. <laughs> Starting in, from okay. now. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. <clears throat> so the Joe Rogan clip. Yes. This is a very random clip. Uh it was post nut syndrome. Oh yeah. Okay, now our few pages are very different. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the whole thing of like guys have it where you can tell if you really like a girl because after you finish if you, you still, still like, like them. <laughs> yeah. And he basically says how it's it's not our fault <laughs> if you go around sleeping with people because your emotions are I actually really like the person but then you sleep with them and that's when it hits you that you don't really like them and that's when you leave got you so yeah if you stay with someone after you've had sex we'll wait till marriage <laughs> then you like them and I was like you know what that's actually very true yeah it's actually mad yeah. Also very peak is to the per- if when you admit that out loud to everyone you've ever slept with that you didn't stay with, they're all like, <laughs> well then. <laughs> well, if there's a one night stand. Yeah, I mean, that's different. I don't have one night stands. Are you telling me you had them last week? You're not saying. Funny. You can't say I'm <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> <say I'm> married. <laughs> 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 you I love, said. Laura is my, I will protect. You said you get them to dress up as Robin Hood. What? <laughs> 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 It's, it's so weird. weird, but so I, like you didn't even think about that. Have like, you got like a Robin Hood fetish that I don't know about? No, you're from Nottingham. Yeah, he does I also don't? Know doesn't mean I want to have sex with Robin Hood that. though, huh? Doesn't mean I want to have sex with Robin Hood. Bro, we watched the cartoon Robin Hood like two months ago, and you got extremely turned on. I guess that's a great film. <laughs> okay. Nothing to do with the content. It's just you know. This is no way, it's just weird. Okay, guys, it's a joke. <laughs> I, no, because I mean, I mean, me and Laura have been together forever. I've only you know I've only been, been out with Laura, so I, I don't know this. Story. That's true. I don't think I've known anyone longer than you've been with Laura. Maybe my friend Sheree. Oh, you don't know anyone who's been in a relationship? No, no, I don't yeah. know anyone. Like, I don't, I've not, like, apart from my family, I don't think I've been friends with Oh, wow, anyone. okay. Damn. That says a lot about me. Wait, you haven't been friends with, what? I don't think I've got, I don't think I have any friends I've been friends with for as long as Laura and Rani have been together. So, like, well, how long have you been together? Since, from, since when you started dating, not married. Well, when were you friends or dating? I no, reckon it'd be like 12 years. Yes, I don't think 13 I've got years, maybe? any friends that I've known for 12 years. Maybe Sheree. Sheree. I've got one friend. I I, I hope she doesn't listen to this podcast because you hesitated for a long time before you thought No, because I was counting. I was like, when's that be <laughs> I think we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so, but also, Laura and I knew each other before that even. Yeah, we went right. to like the same nursery or same play school. Oh, man. Yeah, went to every, every school um, year we were in the same you class. You just didn't really give her a choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that, no. Proves, that proves. Day one. You know the tactic of just be there. Just be there. That's it. That's that's how you. If you like a girl, just be there. Not in a weird, creepy not way. Not in a stalker. I didn't like her that long. No, just though. be there. I wasn't. I wasn't like we. We didn't. We actually used to hate each other at school. Really? Yeah. For a long time, we hated each other. Damn. That's so weird. Sounds like me and JJ. Yeah. Maybe we'll get married yeah. soon. Maybe you'll get married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how it goes. You know. Sorry, Talia. Unlucky. Uh, I've come to terms with it. At this point. <laughs> I can't believe that I was actually scrolling Instagram earlier. And I see the first thing I see is KSI's girlfriend is pregnant. I went, what? Clicked it in this picture of me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been anything. You got baited. You should know though. You're the one that's pregnant. He, he, he's, he's like, what? How do they know? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. It would be quite surprising they found out. I don't know where this is <laughs> where this is meant to go Move right on. now. Uh, what's good? This podcast. This, this podcast. Drinks. That? Mm. What is it? Coke with some lime. What type of Coke? Talia, hold your glass up. That's lemon, mate. No, it's lime. It's, it's a lime. It's just, it's off coloured. It is a lime, though. I know it looks like a lemon. It's big. <laughs> well, now I look silly. <laughs> <laughs> what type of coke do you like? It's a lemon, mate. <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but then I don't want people to actually believe it. Uh, Lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, I like uh, Coke Zero the best. Then? Then what? Then Diet Coke. Then Coke. 
I don't, I don't, I I don't understand. As a kid, I, I prefer diet. Uh, nothing to do with the flavor. Like the, the the flavor of Coke Zero and Coke Diet could be worse, but I'll still drink them because why would you put that much sugar in you? It's crazy. Why not? I love sugar. Yeah, fair enough then. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut you down. Don't you real drink Lucasaid? No. Oh, he he, no. he shut you up there. No, no, no. You asked me a question earlier. When's the last time you drank Lucasaid? I said like five to six months ago. Yeah, but as in you're not. That's against quite a long it. time ago. Yeah, it was yeah when you're driving. not against it. I'm not against it. But I, I, I but would only drink. He says on it, powered by glucose. Yeah. But, does, yeah, he doesn't drink it. No, but you drank it five months ago. I would drink, but five even, months it, ago is a long time. Like, he could have had one five months ago and then not yeah, any yeah. for another six it, it, years. It, it, in the last three years, I reckon I've had like two actual fizzy oh, Lucas okay, Aids and right. I guarantee both of them would have been Lucas Aid Zero. Or Damn. Fair, enough, fair enough, fair enough. He's just shat on you there. I don't understand why Lucas Aid do a diet version when it literally is the whole brand is powered by glucose. But, but I guess the, that one's not though. I know, but that's the brand. I, don't so need, like, I, I swear it's not glucose anymore. I swear it's fructose. No, on the bottle it says. Pop. Nah, I reckon. I reckon it's fructose now. There's a bottle right there. Damn, one of you's gonna have to apologise to the other. By the way, wait. Let me be the judge. It says Lucas Aid Energy, original, powered by glucose. But I think. I'm just saying the tagline is powered by glucose. Did it say that? Yes. It does say here there is a section powered by glucose. Glucose, it's for that moment I when you need it, it most. I read yesterday. That's why I was so confident. But I feel like, I do feel like in Coke and stuff like that, they did move to fructose. Yeah, fructose is, is it's way less um, frowned upon. Got you. I mean, at the same time, it does also say whatever you do, do it with energy. Enjoy it cold. You didn't enjoy this cold. Yeah, I so did. technically you're wrong. You, 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 you might did. have. You had it straight after we walked to Greg's and it was you still had cold it. though. It wasn't. It? It, it was. was. No, it was warmer than the sausage rolls we ate. No. <laughs> I know someone who um, who makes fructose. Yeah? How? My um, sister's husband. Oh. That's a cool his story. Should we do the what's good yeah, section? Yeah, my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's what's go. good? All right. This week, coming from Anthony. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. And we've also, we've, we've decided on a new rule. Mm. If Randolph thinks that it's a stinker, we're going to just remove it and go to a different... Yeah. Uh, a different section. Well, I've just got random ones. Power? No. Right. Do you know? I, mean, I love. Power. I love shutting people down. Fair enough. Well, no, it's a joke. Didn't ask. Give me the light, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is painful. And the sound is now screwed. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that's what I was worried about. You hit that like every day. I know, man. I know. Just leave me, me alone. All right. Number one. Designer clothes. This has been getting brighter and brighter, by the way, the whole time. <laughs> you know what? I look, on the podcast last week, I actually looked at me t- turning it up for one second, and it looked better on the camera, you know? What? It being brighter looked better on visual. Just saying. Okay. Burning my eyes there. Um, Designer clothes. I mean, like, can I just have the, like, flicker? Is that not? No, you have to choose on or off tile. You can't sit on the fence. Right, it does like shut people down. Jeez. No, it's true, though. You can't sit on the um, fence. This is the only bit we're off, allowed an light opinion. Off, light yeah. off, light <laughs> off. Everything else, we're not allowed an opinion. This... We have very strong okay, opinions. Yeah, light off. <laughs> light off. Right off. My light's on. I think designer clothes are brilliant. I, I like designer clothes. I, I think, obviously, they are more expensive. Yeah. And they are stupidly more expensive. Mm-hmm. However, there are... My, my dad used to work for a... Uh, well, he used to have one. He used to have, like, a designer, designer brand-ish. Um, and then he suits. Also, huh? Wasn't it suits? No, he used to make uh, Fred Perry or... Uh, a bunch of different brands. Oh, it was a polo, a polo shirt. Polo shirts, Short sleeve yeah. shirts, yeah. Yeah, so when I, yeah, when I went to it. school, I used to go to school in Fred Fred and that. So. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah, so he, he, he used to do that and he actually worked like um, for a literal mm. designer brand yeah. and they are... You're allowed to say. Uh, it's, it's not actually, probably, actually probably not. He probably, okay. he probably wouldn't want me to say that, okay. to be fair. I am allowed, but... Damn, yeah. bro, Gucci <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who used to work for met Kanye. Man. Just met him once. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> I, I was really jealous. I, to go. I, used to, I, I used to work for them. I used to do ads for them. Oh, mad. To be fair. Yeah. Um, salty. Anyway, um, <laughs> to be fair to them, that like it's so much more, like the actual- The quality is better. The quality is so much yeah, better. That, that, you know, made in England, um, made in Japan sometimes, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's it's very high end, so it does cost more to create. Yeah. But at the same time, they do mark up a lot. Yeah. But it's not like it- I always used to get mad when they see like Kanye West did like, something like a white t-shirt for $150. Yeah. And, I, and, then, and then equate that to like, that being the same thing that like other brands no, do. No, no, yeah, no, 100%. So I, yeah. I think the reason I said, because I like designer at the best times, nice, but I think the reason I said light off is because I'd be more than happy never having like oh, yeah. wearing designer. Yeah, so it's I'm luxury. Better. It literally is luxury. There's no, there's no reason to go designer over anything else. But it, but also it's allowed to exist still. Yeah. Well, here's oh, the yeah. Test. Here's the test. You're wearing ZRK. Yeah. You're wearing a Twitch hoodie. Yeah. Where's the top from? Asos. 
You're wearing ZRK socks. Yep. Trousers. Raining champ. Jumper. I don't know. I got it from ASOS, but I don't know what brand it is. Okay. A Y3 hat. That's a designer. Wow. I'm not sure if Raining champ is. He said light on. You did say light on. How many pieces of designer clothing do you think you own? Me? Yeah. I don't think I have any pieces of clothing that are designer. Generally. But at the same time, designer doesn't always have to be expensive, right? No, I think that high uh, end. Yeah. This is what we mean when we say designer. I genuinely don't think I've got two bags, three bags. One was a gift. Two were a gift. Three. Who were gifted? Damn. The only designer things I've bought are for other people. Yeah. It's not essential, but it's like a luxury item. And if yeah. you want to spend that much, I do, I do agree that like they can rip people off. Yeah. But it's like, just like if you buy it, you're, you're willing to get ripped off. If you know what I mean? I'm just yeah. very much like, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Like, I don't want to like something just because it's got LV on it. I just yeah. It's yeah. The G's. Like... I did. I used to think that. Like, I used not that. I used to think, oh, like, I really want that kind of thing just because it has the name. Yeah. I remember going to. Uh... I feel like everyone goes through that phase as a kid, like teenager. I went to a shopping. I uh, went to a shopping center with Bondi, and this was like he had just started playing professional football, so he was he was earning a good amount. Yeah, yeah. I was, I think I was, just dropped out of uni, so I know I like I'm not earning any money or anything. Yeah. And we go in to this shopping center, and it's like quite designer. We go into Armani, yeah. and um, there's this like all the Armani stuff there, mm-hmm. and then there's the Armani exchange bit. Which yeah. is the that's like the cheaper stuff yeah. for Armani, but it's still yeah, yeah. still good or whatever. I look at some stuff in Armani and I think, oh, like this is sick. Look at it, like eight hundred pounds, and I'm like, well, that's that's well, yeah. dreams over. So, so yeah. the only thing I look at, I literally go to look at a plain white T-shirt that has like AE just for like yeah. exchange, but it's like not embroidered, but it's it's white on white. Yeah. So it's literally a plain white T-shirt, <laughs> and it's like seventy five pounds still. Oh my god. So I literally think about buying it and I'm like, I'm going to save up yeah. and come buy this t-shirt. Get this t-shirt yeah. I had the, the, the exact realize. same, the exact same feeling when we are with Jay, whenever we're with JJ on tour or, or anywhere we go shopping. Yeah. Cause I feel like he like, obviously he has money, but like, I think he like, I think when he goes shopping, he doesn't just buy cause he wants to wear it. He like just buys it cause it's expensive. Yeah. Like, he'll he'll yeah. go, yeah. he'll go. Well, he won't, he, won't, he won't even look at the tag. He relies on a, on a, Price I remember when he was looking at hotels ages ago for something. He just sorted it by hire. So I went, yeah, I'll just get this one. And I was like, wait, you don't even get a look? And he was like, well, it's the best. The best and I was yeah. like, that's not how it works. Yeah. Well, that, that's what happened to you guys in LA. You guys stayed at that like... Um, Beverly Hills. Be- Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah. And it's like, it was a very sick hotel. Yeah, but not... But it's very like old fashioned. Yeah. And it's like, it you could have got a much thicker one. Bro, we were literally... We were literally... We saw so many like... Like famous people there. Was it who was it who walked in? I was in there for I went yeah, in there like ASAP twice, Rocky. and ASAP Rocky just walked past. Us. We, were, we were I was sat just like, like what? what the? This is this is how fit, you guys are living. <laughs> that's where one of the big arguments happened with um, with Deji, wasn't it? No, it wasn't like an argument; it was like a discussion. I and mean, you might not been there for that one. Like, we were just talking for ages about like just about stuff, and Deji was like there. And it was just getting not not heated, but mm. it, was, it was about the house. You know, it's like oh, who's oh here? that how was one pay? of them. Blah, 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 no, that blah. was yeah, that was I was there at that point. Yeah, and it was like. uh yeah, it was about paying rent for it. Yeah, yeah. And just yeah. like the, the mentality and the philosophy of like that. But uh, we were all sat there chatting and then literally ASAP Rocky walks in with a girl, right? And literally 20 minutes later just walks out. Yeah. <laughs> it was mental. Oh and then God. we saw we saw um, uh, John Legend there with Chrissy Teigen and the kids and his like, and the, their family. Ash. Mental. And then also the wor- the crazy part, I'm not sure I've ever told this. We were in the gym. Mm. I say it. We were, we were in the gym, mm. right? It's like me, JJ, Leon, Vidal. Deji and a bunch of other guys. They all left because they were training with Deji. They all left, and then it was just it was just me, mm. Dida, and JJ. JJ was doing a workout, and I was film I was filming the workout. Mm. This Donnie's on the treadmill, right? And he just keeps farting. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps farting all the time. I'm not too fair, right? Not in a bad way. He was just like walking, like fart. And we, we were like, what kind of farts? Is there a good way? Like, what kind of farts? Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And then we, we were just like, oh. and then guess what? I look at who it is and guess who it is. Oh I reckon I'm. I don't know who it is, but oh. I reckon you're not gonna know who it is. As in, he's gonna tell you the name and you're no, gonna know who's that. Mark Cuban. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Mark Cuban is. I know the name. Literally, it's on, know you know, you know, um, you know, uh, is it not Shark, Shark Tank? Tank. Yeah, no, Shark Tank. He's a billionaire. He's like a huge billionaire. Oh, okay. He owns a basketball team. Right. Okay. I don't know what he's actually famous for apart from Shark Tank. He's an investor. He's he's an investor. Well, he's, yeah, he's an investor. But like he's, he's a billionaire, you know? Mad. Um, oh, like, just... But then I was like, I can't believe that's him. Just too... fart in a way. And I was like, to be fair, he's a billionaire, mate. Fart away if you want, you know? <laughs> do, do, do what you want. <laughs> like I could buy this gym. I could believe it, you know? 
But then it, <laughs> it, it's really embarrassing because then like uh, Deji and that, they all came back and they were just like shouting at all over the place and they were just like working out and like being like actually quite annoying to be in the gym yeah. at the same yeah. time with. Um, and I was like, guys, Mark you and like, you know. Put some respect in this <laughs> room. Like, we yeah. have to change how we work. Yeah. But I, I, was, I felt really bad though because I was filming JJ working out and like he would have been in the background and stuff. Oh, so it, if now I cringe about it because I'm like, if I knew it was him, I wouldn't be like so open about filming him. Filming him, I'd yeah. like try and get him off the camera yeah. to not think he's like he, he might think. Well, we're filming him, we're yeah. yeah, just as a way to. See, You're you know, trying to pretend like, oh yeah, 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 that angle, <laughs> yeah. But that's zoom. crazy. The classic, like, oh yeah, pretend to smile. Yeah, take a picture like oh, over yeah. there. Oh. Yeah, but that hotel was definitely it was definitely way too bougie for us. But at the same time, it was very like no one was there. Yeah, it's a very good place to go to be yeah. exclusive. Yeah, and like but no the, one. Would the do rooms were like the rooms weren't that no, amazing. No. I remember I came and waited yeah, with you yeah. and his, and it was like just all right. It, it's Considering ones, how expensive yeah. it was, I think it's one of the ones where the, the service is like better than the actual like yeah. rooms. Yeah. Like they would just they would always like come sort your room out. Yeah. They were very very like nice to you and stuff. Obviously, because you expect that. Yeah, yeah. How much and because you're paying so much as well, you know you're going to be around. Like I don't know, like ASAP Rocky's there, for example. Yeah, yeah he's not going to get hounded there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like, I mean, no offense to JJ, but like, he's like a small fry, you know, yeah. you know yeah. in, a, in a sense. But we went to another hotel, which is when he fought Logan. That was the press conference in LA. When he fought Logan in LA, we stayed at another hotel that was sick as well, to be fair. That was better. Downtown. I can't remember what it was called. Was it downtown or? No. Uh. It wasn't. I think I know which one it was. I don't remember what it was called. I can't remember either. Oh, no, that was in Miami. Or something. Laurel, There's a really no. cool one. There's a really cool hotel in downtown. That we stayed at the night of the fight. I can't remember what that one is. Oh, it had a bar the, um, like forty fifth floor. Or something. In the in, uh, international intercontinental. intercontinental intercontinental. Was it that one? Yeah. You just say that might have been that. Yeah. It was intercontinental. That one was really sick. We didn't end up staying. We literally just had the room. Yeah, we had one room. We had like a room to. Yeah. And there, bougie. And there is <laughs> one that was like literally right across from David Dobrik's original apartment. What's that one? That's British the. Studios. That's the. The low. Yeah, low yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was one where JJ had a room that just smelled like smoke. Yeah. Went to yeah. change it and a new one smelled yeah, like Well, we stayed there the last, like, we stayed there the last, I think I've stayed there every time I stayed in LA mm. in a hotel. It's just a very reliable, like, yeah. straight Location six, to be fair. Well, it's because, it's because when I go to LA, I don't spend time in my hotel room. I yeah. sleep. That's it. it. Yeah. So we stayed in the lows every time because it's like perfect I think I've place. ever stayed in a hotel in LA apart from, because I, because I always just stay with friends. Ah, so, you're so popular. Is that really popular? So w I remember when we went, I was like, "This is a really weird experience yeah. for me to be in LA and like be in a hotel because I've just I just don't associate a hotel with hotel rooms." Even when I went with my parents, we stayed in like an Airbnb. Um, yeah, and I just, yeah. Like, every time I think back, I just, I'm like, "Oh yeah, it was a hotel." It was weird though. I I've not been to LA at all where I've actually paid for my hotel. Damn, that's crazy. Damn. Or, I'm very thankful for it. Both such gold diggers, you know. <laughs> well, I was working, to be fair, Talia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry. Um, that was no, nice. it was like when I was camera working for like JJ and that. But what was I going to say to that? With, with that being said, though, JJ loves staying in his room for hotels. Oh, yeah, That's he probably loves, why yeah. He probably goes to the best ones because he actually really yeah. enjoys staying there yeah. at room service. He'll, he's he'll always like, it. we'll meet in, like, we always do this thing of, we'll go out during the day. Yeah. And then I heard it. <laughs> yeah. We'll go out during the day and then we'll be like, all right, let's go for food. Yeah. We'll get back to the hotel. And, and I remember I always say, say we get back at half six. Mm -hmm. I'll go, let's meet in the lobby. Uh, 6.45. This, this upset me talking about this because it's going to be so long before we ever get to do this again. But carry on. I know. I'm like, let's meet in the lobby 6.45 mm -hmm. and then we'll go. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, let's do seven. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. You want to shower? I was like, take a shower. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it'll get to like, 6.45, 6.50. So we've got 10 minutes left. And JJ will always say, oh, let's do 7.30. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Like what you're you already doing? saying I want another 45. Yeah. What are, what have you been doing? Yeah. And what are you doing? Yeah. Because I go in. You don't need to get ready. Like the way you get ready is you do your hair and you put clothes on and you showered. I'm saying if I, if I go you into my room lot, at 6.30, yeah. I genuinely think I could shower, change, be out in nine minutes. Yeah. yeah. You're very quick. Yeah, he used to love it. He just not all it. the time, and I, I do get it at the same <laughs> yeah. time though. Like sometimes, sometimes I'm on I'm on the fence really. I think it depends what kind of trip it is. I get that, but I hate holding people up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Don't yeah. Know. At, at least just say like, oh, I'm not coming. I actually yeah. when, remember when we went to Vegas. I was convinced. I was like, everyone's been always waiting for me because I'm the girl that does like full face. Yeah. 
Not once. No. So it was Freya. Damn Freya. Damn Freya. She, she called, called you out. out. Yeah, you know what? Freya. If Freya comes on here, we're going to mention that. Yeah. <laughs> Go we're like, yo, Talia I called you a bitch. I was literally like, oh my God. We will say that to be fair though. <laughs> um, yeah. Damn. I just was like, I'm quickly to oh, wake up. Oh my God. Yeah. But... Lucky it was dark there as well. Well then. <laughs> I, mean, I, I especially get it when he's, when he's there for like press conferences and stuff and work. He's like, he probably just wants to chill in his yeah. room. Yeah. Where if we're there Problem for like, like but you're, but you're going out for food. Yeah. It's true. In like, LA, I don't care about hotel. Whereas like when you go somewhere that's like a villary. 100% obviously you want to get a nice room. Oh that's, yeah, that's, that's the point. You're always the are, but that's yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but in a city. Yeah, like well, if we stay there in LA, I'm literally like, yeah, I, I just want to go in. I will chuck my bag on the floor yeah. and I'll go again. Yeah. I'll, go, I'll just grab my car. I care less about the hotel room. Whenever we go like sidemen trips or whatever. So where do we go? There was somewhere we went when we went down to, I think it was when we did hide and seek on a little island. Mm. Um, And we had stayed at the hotel in like Brighton the night before. We got there at like, 11 p.m. We got to the hotel, mm. and we we're all like, "Well, we're not going to go to bed at 11 p.m. We'll just wow. awake right now." We're 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 rebels, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're hardcore. We stay up till midnight. You are rebels, to be fair. So we get we get to the hotel, and we're all like, "Oh, should we go to the bar?" And I go, "Yeah, I'll literally just chuck my bag in, grab my wallet, and go." So I open the door, and I'm literally like, "Open the door, throw that, grab my wallet, go out, close the door." And then I stand there for about 10 minutes. And I'm like, what is everyone like, doing? How, how and yeah. yeah, and I text them and they're all just like, oh yeah, just grabbing my stuff. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just saying 10 minutes. Yeah. And then they're all, someone always says, oh, I'm having shit, I'll meet you there. But I don't get it. I'd probably say in between. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be like 10 minutes, then out again, but I wouldn't be like an hour. I feel like half an I'm hour. Just, I genuinely feel like I'm very, not quick to get ready, but because I know it takes me long, I will just start out before I'm always the first ready. Yeah, you're, you you know that you take a while. Yeah, I, I know yeah. my timing. So when you go to a hotel, right? Say you've gone to go and say you've gone to the press conference, right? In yeah. LA, you go back to the hotel yeah. to then go out for food. Yeah. When you get into a hotel room, do you just start getting ready? Straight away. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'll do, I'll get I'll I'll jump on the bed oh, and no. give it like 10, 15 minutes. Jump on the bed. He's just standing yeah. there jumping. No, no, no. I'll <laughs> jump onto the bed once and lie down. And then I then I get up like fifteen minutes later to get ready. Oh no. I can't get ready straight away. You gotta jump on the bed. No. You gotta have a, you gotta like just enjoy the I, I mean, to, I, 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 I do that, screen. but purely because I have to wait. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because I know if I get ready in the first two minutes, I'm like, I, <laughs> I love that. Like, wake up hotel, putting like sports on American channels, especially. Yeah. In I always check the channels. Yeah. There's never anything good. Then go out and <laughs> yeah. come back. I start watching the American adverts. I do. Yeah. If they're so, so good. Like, oh, may cause this. And you're like, you know what? You get there and you enjoy it for the first couple one. Then then you realize how often they are and how yeah. they're all the same. Yeah. Well, it's when you finally find a show that you want to watch. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like oh. the Simpsons comes on. Yeah. You get the Simpsons theme tune ads. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't seen America anything. And the, worst, the worst part is football, like, so, like soccer. You watch soccer. that. And it's like some adverts in the, in the middle. Yeah. The ball goes off. It's an advert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then also like, cause I watch NBA on the, the NBA league app. I pay for it here. There's no adverts. If, if it cuts off to an advert, it just goes to like, the awkward uh, silence of the silence yeah. just watching them do team team talking stuff yeah. whereas in America it's like advert, America. advert, yeah. advert. I'm like oh god alright number two that was no <laughs> number two fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh god the word going back to last week yep. the word VIP oh I hate it uh, well, well th that VIP is fine but it standing for a very yeah. important person is yeah. dead like I, I use the term VIP but I hate the fact that we like we're categorizing someone as more important important than someone else yeah yeah like, no, don't get me wrong it's a good way to like it's a good way to kind of like Categorize yeah so say yeah. if like if you're like at an event and it's like a creator event it's a good yeah. way to make sure that like, they, could, they could just use the word creator yeah okay so if you could change you have to you have to create a blanket term yeah for vip so like for example i'm not saying this is a good one vagina is one. peng no 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 no, not like that <laughs> not, <laughs> i'm not saying you change the what don't is it the have acronym to keep oh, okay. Okay, yeah, okay is it an acronym is that what it yeah, is? yeah, yeah. Um, I'm saying like, say you went to an event and you had people, you give get given a badge, and it's like this person's A, the others got, B. Okay, like for example, like, you create. Like I'm not saying that's good. Triple A. But that's still the same thing in it because no, you're still it, saying like an A is like it's like a grade. Isn't well, it? no, triple A is triple A. No, triple a. That means access or like yeah. access all areas. Yeah. See that I like <laughs> because that is literally just categorically you are allowed to go to the places that other people aren't, and it, it's it's not wow. because you're better. It's because you're better. You're not. Oh. The whole point is it's not. I'm trying to plug your song again. No. <laughs> yeah, no. no, but like VIP, I just makes me cringe because I'm like, no one's more important. Okay, so you got to create a blanket term for VIPs. What are you saying? I think we like, why can't we just call it AA, like AAA if you're Because that's a little go... bit like, that's all areas as well. 
pass. So if you're, for example, if you're a fan that's bought a VIP pass, can you now go in the the singer's changing room? Thing is, I think you just give <laughs> like, it. Just yeah. make make up a new word. That's what I'm asking. What I would do is Lulu. Lulu. Oh, hey, you're right. Uh, yeah, I got the flu. <laughs> you know what? I actually Sorry, you call these. Jesus. You know this little bit of skin, <laughs> like when you. I don't know if boys get it. Maybe not. Yeah, the little bit of but like, that little bit there. Yeah. Me, I call it a flu because when I used to go to the. When I used to go to the gym, I so you've just once. called. You, you're no, saying in, a VIP is like armpit fat. No, because you don't know <laughs> that. That's an offense to that. But I think if you literally just like, why couldn't they just make up a new word? That's what I'm asking you. Create a blanket and term. How, I guess your answer is flu. You're going with flu. I am going to fix it. Okay. I'm not going to create a new term. Okay. What, what I'm going to do is on all the badges, I'm literally going to have what you are in it. So say if, if you're there, like if you're an artist. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you no, if you're an artist, you're an artist. If you're like creator, creator. If you're like camera crew, camera crew. Yeah, and then underneath has triple A or A or whatever okay. what access you have. So. It makes more sense. So say yeah. we've both bought tickets to a concert. Yeah. And she has bought a VI, like the package that gives her extra stuff. Yeah. What what does she have? Um, you just say attendee. You know what? I, I, I have I have no. I actually don't have anything against VIP. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I I think as a blanket term because we don't actually mean it anymore. Yeah, no, no one says that you're a very important person. Come through, especially <laughs> in like when you've paid for a ticket or whatnot. It's just but when it, they actually call it like oh the VIPs are here and they actually mean yeah, like, dead, yeah, oh, yeah. Bleh, just find yeah. it cringe. Okay. So that was a light off. Yeah. Light off for what it stands for. Yeah. Light on for the actual VIP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one, a little bit, little bit controversial, maybe. Oh dear. The royal family. Light off. Damn. Yeah, light off. Damn. Light off. But like, but again, I mean, light off for what it still is now. But like, I, I do understand how it like came about. And I also back think in the day. I know it brings a lot of tourism into the country, which is great, and I'm very grateful for that because it keeps the country running, whatever. But I just think it's just a load of it's glorified Kardashians at this point. Yeah. I think we should just teach a dog to talk and it would bring as much tourism. I mean, if we could. That's what I'm saying. Nah, because like... We should fund that. To be fair though, like in terms of tourism, like they don't come for the royal family. They just come for the building, don't they? The Buckingham Palace and the Yeah, guards. it's because they're there. Though. Yeah, yeah but we just kick them out and just leave the building there. No, but I nah, think it's because they're there. It definitely does add. Like, what I'm like, saying when you, did you see how many people came to like... Uh, wedding. The wedding. Yeah, and the wedding and the baby... The Simba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I guess, but, like, but what I'm saying is, you, what I mean is, if you had a talking dog, <laughs> you still have to put him in some, some sort of palace. <laughs> they're not, not going to come just to see this talking we'll dog. Just you replace put, put, the put, queen with a talking dog in Buckingham Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like, just come on YouTube. Oh, yeah, no. If we, got a, if, if we yeah. got a dog to talk, I would say give it the Buckingham Palace. Yeah. However, with that being said, I do. Because they could thank you at least as well. I Thanks just think it's one of those things. It's like, Why is it talking like that? Ugh. It's his dog. It's not the what? same like lips as well. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever heard Yoda talk? Yeah. I reckon a dog would sound like Yoda. Where you talk backwards, like no, no, no. no. I think, I think it, it depends what type of dog it is. I feel like an Alsatian would have good grammar. Jack Russell would be like, "All right, mate, what's up? How you doing, mate?" I feel it, it's kind of like its owners. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Anyway, so um, <laughs> but, you know but, they always say dogs are like their owners, or owners are like their dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Chow, yeah. chow. What does that say about me? Then what? I want to chow, chow. What that you're fluffy. fluffy. Yeah. Flulu. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get a dog and call it Flulu. Yeah. Oh, Flulu, Flulu. Um, but I do enjoy shows like The Crown. I do enjoy learning about the history of like royal family of the royal royal families in interesting. everywhere you yeah. know, in the world. I just and think at the end of the day, like I, I, sometimes these questions. I know it, obviously we're just saying what's good. Yeah, about. yeah. At the end of the day, what we're we gonna do about it? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rise up! No, no, no. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like you know. No, I'm kidding. We have to rise up, really. No. No, what? we're not starting a revolution. Yeah, isn't this that like would be cool though? Uh, all from the what's can't good podcast. Get, can't you get like beheaded for this? No. Yes, I mean, we don't have to say that though. We'll fight, we'll fight a battle in court, you know, to try and not get beheaded. Now, I'm saying, that's well, the thing is, they're too protected. <laughs> if you say anything that comes out that's true, they'll have you killed on the side. Yeah, I, I, I don't mean like what we're going to do about it. I mean, like, we can't change what has happened. Yeah. So that's what I mean about it. You know, we can change it now, you know. We can, and I think we do that like, on social media, you know, you know, people argue pros and cons. But I'm saying, like, you know, in terms of like 300 years ago, unfortunately, that was the way it was like, you know, yeah. beheadings and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, you can't change history, but you can't, you can't change our history. Damn deep. We can't. No, no, or, you can't. You, you what, what, your what, legacy of what you're no, going no, to leave. But, but this is our history because this is our age. So in like in like 100 years, yeah, this would okay, have been our history. What, okay, yeah, I got what you mean now. Yeah. Or. <laughs> it's just me TikTok. It's because I've got, got this on it. Yeah. The talking dog. Or, or the talking dog. I genuinely think this is the future. Look, there's a dog on TikTok that can press buttons yeah, that, and create funny. sentences. You've seen that? 
Yeah, but the thing is, I saw that, but like they could just film every single time until they do it right. Nah, I think there's enough that it's I like. I think sometimes it's not a case of the dog understands the words. It's just a case of the dog knows that this rhythm, this, you know, this button, this button, this button means that I want to go outside or I want to do this because every time I do this, but it's learning. They respond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, but that's what I'm saying. Give it 30 years, create a little cap for the dog that creates its cognitive thoughts. Yeah. Turns it into words. See how that would end. Yep. Got turns it into words thought. and it wouldn't have to press the button. It could just think that button and it says the button and then it'd be a talking Same, dog. Yeah. See that? Mm. I'm light years ahead right the, now. The use of people that um, have gone into accidents that can't speak like with their thumb. Like what Stephen Hawking does. Yeah. With the, yeah. Like we just need to create one for a dog. One that, for an animal so they can talk. Mm, I mean, I feel like his think, brain capacity is much larger. You don't know. <laughs> people can't run as fast as dogs. Because they brain. think quicker. Right, yeah. Okay. They think, I think I'll move my legs line. quicker. And they have four legs. Exactly. They have four legs and a tail. No to arms, bounce though. Them. Huh? No arms. Stronger jaws. Yeah, but we don't run with our arms, though. Do you reckon you can take a dog in a fight? Have you seen Tom Cruise run? He runs with his arms. Yeah, he does. <laughs> do, you think, do you think you can take a dog in a fight? No. Uh, we'll go with a lab. Uh, it depends. Lab. No, lab could absolutely destroy Do you reckon me. you can take a lab? I'm trying to choose the, like a standard dog, like a lab. Uh, I don't well, want to choose like an Alsatian. Because like, I could kick it and whatnot, but like you've got to think a dog, like one bite, I'd so be down. This is this is the scenario. I was talking about this earlier with Harry and Josh. You take off half your face. You're in a basketball court size arena. Mm. It's flat. Nothing no. in and there. And you both except. start. You both start. You both together. start no. opposite ends of the court. Yeah, I'd win for sure. No. It's you that versus the lab. Kick, that dog is so far, so much faster no, but, than you. Right. So if if the dog has or if the dog's already biting your arm, it's, it, it'll be hard to get a, an advantage. But if that dog's running to you, what you do is I think if you're next to each kick. other, it <laughs> might no, 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 you don't kick, you, you don't kick or you don't kick or punch or anything like that. You have to. Ju- I don't want to talk about killing the dog on podcast. But you have you have to just just you can just explain how you take it down. You have to headlock it. Okay. You have to grab it. You can't, you're stronger, or maybe, maybe you're not. It's just trying, <laughs> no, it's true. I don't it's know trying to get, if, if they're starting next to you, fine. If they're getting a run up, the speed that a dog gets to try and get that angle to then get them in the right, I just think they'd have you. But then the dog jumps at you, you dodge a little bit. Like, like JJ this says about the horse. You, you know, you, See, uh, as soon as you start talking about like, oh yeah, dodge the no, dog no, no, and no, stuff, no, that's no, where I'm like. I'm not going to dodge. It's going to run up to me, right? It's going to jump like that. I turn. But do you think you have fast enough? Line it. You think you have fast enough reactions? This is an anime reactions? fight at this point. Well, no, because if it's... If then it's, I charge up to over 9,000 yeah. power. <laughs> if it's running at me, I know, okay, at some point it's going to reach me. So yeah. But what if it doesn't jump at you? What if it goes to your leg? It's okay, so it goes to my leg, I'll kick its jaw with my You've shoe. got to make this decision within... Can I wear shoes? Yeah, you'd wear shoes. Can, can I prepare armor for it? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> I would wear, I'd kick it in the face. To stop it by him, not not to pe- hurt it. I don't. Why was I like? Okay, I'll, 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 I'll keep doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to just talk about the morals, but it is just a podcast. It's not real. No, but my, logic, kick a dog. my logic is in that you're like the dog. Say it's been sprinting at you, so you're ready. You know it's sprinting at you, but in that last second, you have to make a split decision whether it's going to jump at you or go for your leg. And do I'll, you I'll, think you have the far, you have fast enough reactions to either kick it or grab it? I'll adapt. Yeah. Is it is it trained? Is it is it like trained? It's an everyday police lab. dog. No, it's an everyday. Lab. Oh, then yeah, no question. Okay. Yeah, because Freezy has, you know, JJ has said he could the, beat a horse. The horse, yeah, the horse I disagree with. Freezy has also claimed that he would beat a horse. He did say that, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's It's not my little pony, it's a real life horse. Yeah, okay, Freezy okay. thinks, like, oh, if you take out its one leg, done. I can't say something then, never mind. Let's just, let's, just, <laughs> let's just use facts, okay? The weight of a Labrador, okay? Male between 29 to 36 kilo, female 25 to 32 kilo, okay? That's like over half my weight. Yes. I, I, I've put that way on since lockdown. No, 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 30 kg. No, 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 30 pounds. 30, 30, pound, 30 pounds since lockdown. A horse is between, th- an adult horse is between 380 to 1,000 kilogram. Oh no, the horse one is, the horse yeah. is dumb. So, so the, uh, uh, the, the lightest horse, right, in this scenario is still 10 times the weight of a dog, of, of a Labrador, not even like a chihuahua, yeah. of a Labrador. Oh no, the horse, trying to say you could beat a horse up. The only way I could beat a horse is if it has no idea and I can literally like get at it and I attack on it. And I still, think, even then, I probably wouldn't be able to. I if you punch a horse, a horse you stood there, it. No, I'm say, saying like legs. If a horse stood there and JJ punched a horse and the horse just had to take it, I think the horse would be fine. I think the horse would literally move its head. It'd like, be like, it would, it would, oh, that hurt. It'd be like Homer Simpson getting punched. <laughs> yeah. Be like, 
Yeah. It would have been Astrid when Jake Paul punches him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think it'd even be able to feel it um, in the body. Yeah. Their skulls are thick as well. Yeah. Aren't they? If that what? even touches you with its foot, you're. Yeah. I say we put them in an arena and see what happens. <laughs> like Hawk can we? Have, yeah. Can like compete or allow it? No, <laughs> I don't think they will. Well, I don't think they will ever allow that. Because no, because if they allow that, what they stand for. Because is this not like a good like lesson? This is a good for lesson horses. for the people. Yeah, this is a good lesson. Like, stop saying you can beat up horses. Look how this guy just got fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, and also I don't even know how you want to. They're great creatures. They are, are very fun. majestic. I love horses. I also love the fact when people are like, oh, I wish like Pokemon was real or I wish like aliens are real. I'm like, if you think about it, we've got lions, we've got like whales, like these are real, these are real. What do you want? A, a, a cartoon, like a, yeah, but a, like a, a whale yellow nah, Pikachu. Nah, but it's things like, cause, hmm? but like a Pikachu wouldn't eat me. But like a lion would. Nah, but it's, they, they have like these you extra, Pikachu. they have these extra bits as well. Like. Electric. Well, like for example, like a Rapidash is effectively a horse, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but it's got yeah. fire on. But yeah, the first Pokemon based on animals that's what i'm saying like mm. pokemon are basically animals but they have an extra cool thing like like, like superheroes you know like yeah like they're like the superheroes of animals yeah, yeah. True. i rate that I rate yeah that. some of them aren't though geodude is a rock mm. he's a rock he's to be fair he is a floating rock is he in the cartoons or like animes uh, no he's not in the cartoons no i was about to say yeah he jumps he's on the floor yeah, yeah. that's lame he's, he he's even lamer hands. than i thought yeah he's even lamer than i thought yeah but evolves cool Anyway, where, where else are we going? Um, go on. <laughs> okay, number four. Playing mobile games. Phone, oh, phone big games. light on. Bro, we shouldn't have, in this podcast, it's fun to buy. It's not. <laughs> that would have been good. It's sick to have it, yeah. Big light on. Yeah, I love yeah, mobile good, good. games. Yeah. What are you playing? Mm, oh, Freya tried to get me on something called Wodoku, which has nothing to do with Sudoku. Um, but I didn't really super get into it. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's just... You literally turned to talk to me. No. And went over. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm one of those people that on TikTok, you know, if if it's shown to me three times, I download it. Oh yeah, I I am a sucker for Instagram and yeah. TikTok games. Oh, you do you do play them like yeah, you play yeah. Like, pat, the pattern ones and the shooting big one fan, you have to big shoot fan. Big fan. I just think that the, like the, again, it's too broad. These what's good questions are too broad because broad because some mobile games are fantastic. But I think the actual like even trend... the bad ones though. For Ten minutes, I enjoy yeah. That's it. A, that's the thing. Like this, there's a game called Jump Dunk 3D, which <laughs> is all you have to do is just throw a ball into like a plastic yeah. cup before your opponent. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm played I'm, it for ten minutes and they literally repeat the levels. I'm talking like, yeah. some of the ones that are like the uh, like I don't want to actually name names here, but because I don't know, but like the ones that force like microtransactions down your throat. Uh, the only way yeah. you can pass is if you buy enough diamonds. Or gold yeah, or, yeah, no, I don't, they're, they're I don't like. like just in case win. we get sponsored by one, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that as well, but also I don't want to categorize one if it actually is a good version because there, there are some games that do, you know, Fortnite essentially. I know it's not a mobile game per se anymore, but like or whatever it was, but Fortnite is just purely cosmetics, right? Mm. I'm talking about, talking about the games where it literally is play to win. Yeah. And some might not yeah. be play to win and I might say they are, yeah, so I don't yeah, want to yeah. say it, but you know, some games, like, like Candy Crush, you know, that's very addi addictive. Like I know people pay thousands of pounds yeah. to get to the next level. I was about to say, what's your, like what's been your mobile game that you like? The most. Yeah, you were hooked. I wish I told you ours. I know what mine is. Although it's an iPad count. Yeah, yeah. If, if it's a, as long as it is like a mobile game. I think it is, I don't know. Uh, Star Wars Heroes. When I say that counts, that counts. I played that game, probably more than any game I've played on the PC, Damn. I played it every day. I would, I don't want to swear, but I would mess those bitches up. Damn. Said bitches. Said oh bitches. my God. I got Damn. so good. I got so good. Yeah, I was good, on the lead, leaderboard in the world at one point because I played it that much. And it was probably really came out and I was playing yeah. it, yeah. Oh, absolutely not. First five minutes. <laughs> I played Still that last. for and it, and it was a brand deal, so she's the only one to have access to it. <laughs> <laughs> Early oh, beta. So good. So good. Now, games like that are good, you know. Um, I'm quite good at not getting sucked into microtransactions, though. I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm good. I, First day on Valorant, I was like, that's a cool gun. Buy it. Oh, that's... Oh, no, no, no. If we're talking PC games, like PC Fortnite, I spent a lot of money on. It's still cosmetics. the same. Microtransactions still the same essence. Yeah, but I'm talking like, because it's a mobile it's game, win, I feel like it's... It's true. But like a mobile game, I don't think I get sucked into. Mm. Like yeah. PC one, I feel like I stream it as well on PC. Like that's a you know tax deductible on that. If it's not an excuse though, like no, it is. You, you could just play with the de default guns like pros do. But why would I do that when I could have a gun that's pretty? <laughs> to be fair, after <laughs> True. I mean FIFA, obviously I, I killed a pro one. in the guild tournament. He didn't have a skin. I did. What does that tell you? We well, didn't that. see it. Well then, yeah, <laughs> see it either. Well then, I think pros don't use skins, do they? 
I think some, I think most of them don't really care. Mm. But I used to play a game called, I can't remember the name of it. It was like Candy Crush. You remember it? I got obsessed yeah, with it. Oh I got God. obsessed with this game. You was in. But the thing that was, is, that was a shooter one, no? No. No, no. It was like designing a home or something. It was some weird, there was some weirdness to do with it. It was basically Candy Crush and that was the bit like, and then you'd have to like build a house or something out of Go it. You. And I would literally just spam the build parts because I couldn't get, I couldn't be asked. And then I'd play the Candy Crush bit. Mm. And I bought, I think I, I think I spent about eight pounds on that in total. But I played it, I'd say for six months, nonstop. Yeah, it was intense. I get very, I get very addicted to like spending money on games. See, I don't spend money. I'm playing one now, actually. Not right now. Yeah, but <laughs> right now. It's called it's it's called Hero Wars. It's probably really, similar, probably, you know, thing is the Star Wars game. They're all the same. Like Star Wars, Star Marvel, Marvel. They're all yeah. the same. They, they, they're just the cosmetics are different. Yeah, mine like, one's Clash is... Royale. That, that's kind of like similar in it in terms of to yeah to, to Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. And again, like I'm playing it, and I'm like, I, like I don't even know why I'm like. I just have to. I have to log in now just to get my like daily. Yeah, bonus that's what they do. Stuff. That's how they get you. And then, and then you you run you run out of uh, goes. You have to go and buy a diamond. No, to... so that's what I'm really good at. That doesn't happen to me. Damn. I, to I've me. literally not spent money on this, and I've played quite a lot. To be fair, I don't think I spent any on Star Wars. I would like. I'd literally just wait, and if like it said like it would regen in twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm, that's, what, that's what I'm good at. Yeah, no, I can't do or that. Or I'd save up throughout the day and then I'd have like a couple hours. Of that's me, that's me. Like, right, let's go, that, boys. That Candy Crush style one, <laughs> I had it twice where I was like, okay, I've literally got nothing left. And I've yeah. got, it was like a car journey. Yeah. Or something. I'm like, oh, I'll spend two pounds and get the whole yeah. day. But then, so you build this house or something mm. uh, and then you unlock a new room. Yeah. And it does that. You do it about 30 times. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, this is actually like, you can see the rest of the rooms. I got to the final room and I thought, cool, I'm actually about to complete the game, but mm. obviously you never complete these I games. I remember this, yeah. And I remember I finished the final room and I went, oh my God, I've done it. Then it unlocked like a tree house and I was like, for fuck's sake, did that. And then it basically, you take a hot air balloon yeah. and you go to another island and you just have to do a whole new house. Oh my God. And I went, now I, went, had it. Now I can't like, yeah. I that was like, because it's not even, it's not even different. I'm literally just starting again, effectively. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, at this point, I delete the game. Never touched it again. Damn. I'm, 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 I'm a sucker. You know? Day one, I'll get in the game. I'll like, buy the big package or something. Oh, like, no. I was, I was, I was I'm checking now. I'm not on PC games, but I'm not on mobile. Mobile, yeah. Like, like Fall Cash Guys. Look you buy anything on Fall Guys? With money? No, I didn't. Want that. You can buy skins and stuff. They have like the daily shop, like. <laughs> yeah. They have it exactly like Fall. You can buy crowns on it, right? No, oh, you, can you use, buy you can kudos. Use, you can use crowns to buy. I you can genuinely buy kudos. had okay. no idea. I don't they think literally have the world. store page. Mad. They have their like daily items and weekly items or something. Yeah, but you buy kudos. Like you spend kudos on them. It's not real money. But you can buy. You can buy kudos. I don't know. You could buy kudos. No, I've never done that. Yeah. I'll go into a game and well, buy the battle pass and then not play the game, and don't earn, don't earn the battle pass. Whereas my friends tell me, yeah, earn the battle pass, then buy it. But then I'm like, but then like. You don't have, then you've got the cost of late, you know? Yeah. See, Warzone. I bought loads of stuff on that. Warzone, I haven't bought the Battle Pass once. Really? I don't know how. No, you got given it from Ellen. Uh, yeah, and I don't know how to. I don't know how I to use it. I actually relate to that very hard. I was, about to say, I, think I, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I have it, but I don't really know how it works. I've had a code every season, I don't know how to beam it. Oh. Yeah. Like, I literally. Oh, yeah, Battle beam it on Battle.net, yeah. yeah. It just confuses me. Yeah. I know I'm a boomer, but even the, even seeing something, it's like, you've unlocked this, and I'm like, okay, where is it? Where? <laughs> yeah, the, the store on it's not user friendly. No, Let me take my socks off. it's not amazing. So I, I've got gems here. Yeah, I'm in Clash Royale. I've got <laughs> gems that I've bought. I know, but I'm literally got coins that I've bought. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the heat in on lower. Yeah, it. yeah. You about to tell us something? Yeah, I've got loads of gems in Clash Royale. I get worried he's gonna knock down the wall every time he stands up. <sighs> okay, <laughs> shall I do the next one, or yeah, do you yeah. want to tell us your gems? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right, the next one, raffles. Do you know what? My mum is like my the, mom. the world's best raffle player. You don't play raffle. No, I know. Well, you think it's luck until you go with my mum. She basically, I don't think she's ever not won a raffle. Like I'm almost certain she cheats. She literally has the best, like she is queen of manifesting. She actually told me, she was like, you're going to get that card. The, the Charizard See, one. Yeah. Yeah. So basically I'm talking so he can sit down and not block your camera. <laughs> oh, you go. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, the Charizard, you should manifest that. Yeah. Manifesting is real though. I will tell 100%, you that. 100%, 100%. I believe in it. I believe in it. I just think, I believe in like 
when you put the energy out, you actually put the, You work towards it. Yeah. yeah. You said it. Damn hippies. But um, <laughs> yeah, she like, literally, when we used to do like school raffles and stuff, she'd be like, right, okay. That was me as a time, kid. She'd win every single time. And it was like a running joke in our family. It's like, Lara won the It is just still look though. And it yeah, but like, it's, yeah. how, how? Yeah. It's wild. So I, I like raffles that are there to like, you know, like um, raise money for charity. Stuff, yeah. yeah, raise money for charity. If you're in an event, like a, you know, like a a, a christening or like yeah. a dance show or something, you used to do raffles to support them. The raffles are literally just a lottery. Yeah, it's, it's a lottery. But, but then but then what I don't like about it is, and I would turn my light off. I've turned my light off. Okay. <clears throat> is, since I'm in Pokemon, I hate it. So what someone will do, someone will have a pack, right? A pack of cards. Right. And say it's worth a hundred pound. Yeah. Instead of just selling the pack for a hundred pounds to someone, they'll sell, you know, a hundred five pound raffles. Yeah. So each person puts five pound in. Yeah. Uh, and they, if they win, you get a you get a pack for hundred pound. Yeah. Uh, you get a hundred pound worth pack for five pound. Yeah, but but the person who's selling it gets five hundred pound, and you just rip, you just ripping people off. I think I hate that because that's just gambling, and that that is yeah. literally at that point. I mean, that's what the lottery is. You know, it is a rip off, but at the same time, is it not it's business? It's also everyone's getting an equal chance of winning something. That's you know, if you're putting in, you're they're not putting in over the amount. It's just scumbag. It's just scumbaggy. I think uh, I might open up a raffle business now. Damn. Is, I think it's still unethical. <laughs> it's gambling, you know, like you, you, you don't get anything. Like, you well, get, if you win, you get the chance. I think as long as you're, you're if you're not, as long as you're you over win. 18. Yeah, that's, but then, that then that should be the rule. Yeah, that should and then, be. But also you have to, like, but then if you do that, you have to then actually like. Enforce it. Yeah, yeah, you have to go by the regulations that bet, betting companies have to go by, you know, when, when the fun stops, stops, you have, to, you have exactly to disclose it. You can't, you can't, yeah. It's like, otherwise it's like a, like a, yeah. A raffle is gambling, 100%. There's a word for it. There's a word. A racket, right? No, I Tennis. <laughs> I think that the ma- mafia bosses. I, I think uh, there's, there's a word to. Anyway, I don't know. All right, next one. <laughs> board games. Oh, oh big light light on. on. Come on. Love board games. Favorite board game. I like Settlers of Catan. Okay. Risk. Okay. She hasn't played either of these. Nope. No. No. Are you amateur then? No, I don't know. I don't know really. I think probably Cluedo. Cluedo's good. I love Cluedo. You know what? I actually really like Monopoly as well. I know. I love Monopoly for day, the wrong reasons. I don't like Monopoly most of the time. Why? Because of the people. That's why I love it. Yeah. Oh. Inject it into me. I love playing Monopoly just so people get mad. I and I love it. doing things that make them mad. Like, they're like, can I trade? I'm like, no. Yeah. No. See, I'd, and they, and I'd just like, be like, What's the, like we're not having fun. Yeah. Oh, no. oh that's why I love it. Tensions okay. are high. I think maybe you family are arguing. No. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, be mad. I love trolling people in Monopoly. Yeah, oh, you've got, he, that's what he calls it because it's just him. Monopoly. <laughs> Monopoly. I've got three Roll Royals, Randy. Can I have your last one? So, nope. I'll give you Mayfair and Pot. Nope. So, so someone mad. came to you with like a, a good offer in Monopoly, you'd say no. Just to um, annoy them. Okay, so let's play. We're playing right okay, now. Okay, okay. I have, I have three of the train stations and you have the last one and I want that. I will give you Mayfair, Mayfair and Park Lane. Uh, I, would, I would judge it. If 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 I had enough money to then like actually put hotels on the park lane, I would take that. Even without hotels. Even, yeah, isn't it? Even okay. without everyone knows. No, because 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 I, I don't want to give you that. What the because, last station? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't want I don't want you to complete Anything. your the they station go up by like a hundred dollars. Yeah. The blues double because you have both of them. Yeah, but you already have them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so but you, now you have them. No, no, but I haven't earned them. You need me. You need me. To get your railways, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to stop you getting those railways. Even if I lose the game, I don't care. I just, I just want to make you. Yeah, str- I don't I want to yeah. make you stressed, but I won't. But I'll, I won't do it. I won't do it like this. I won't, I, won't, I won't be like, oh, I'm a dickhead. I'll just be like slightly do it. I'm like, mm, you know what? Ask me in three turns. That's even more of a now dickhead. Know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why great. I love it. Yeah, yeah. And I don't care if you're mad at me. It's fun, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie. I, ha- I hate most board games. You know, I play them once and then I'm like, I don't play is them a bad again. game. It's a, it's a very bad game. I don't like them because of other people. That is it. For me, because of me. People like you, yeah. I just can't play them. Stay mad. I hate competitiveness. No, it's, you are competitive though. You're very competitive. You're very competitive. In certain things. A board game, I'm like, no. what is this? I Maybe in a board game, not. No, Even you might- in stubbornness, you're competitive. That's you stubbornness. Against the idea of playing it. But once you're playing it, you'll be competitive. Competitive. <laughs> It's got, just, it's, it's like a board get. It's why it's like things like Sunday League, for example. I literally stopped playing that because I, I was like, I can't be asked for people's competitiveness. I was like, yeah, put me on a football pitch and I will become a dickhead. But everyone is. Uh-huh. But 
it's just like I can't be asked because it's like this is like ruining your week if yeah. you lose a match. Yeah. And people were annoyed after a, a game. Some, yeah. No, I, and I, just, I can't stand it. I mean, I like board games. My I like playing game. them for Same. the first time and then I'm like, okay, cool. Now people are going to start working out. Ta- like Monopoly, everyone's figured out tactics and stuff. Like, Yeah, I don't... I think it's fun when you're literally just like, oh, let's have a drink. Let's Casually. Put a board game, put a board yeah. game on. <laughs> I remember my dad shouted at me once because I used to be really lucky. And I'd mm-hmm. uh, I'd always say, like, I don't really want to play Risk because it's like a three-hour commitment you've got to make. Mm. And we'd play it on holiday or something. And I'd be like, all right, go for a swim. My brothers and my dad are playing it, those three. And then I'd come over and I'd be like, oh, how's everyone doing? Um, and then my oldest brother would be like, oh, do you want to join my team? And then I'd just roll for him. And I'd get sixes every time. <laughs> and then my dad shouted at me. He was like, he flipped the board and he was like, you can't just come over and play when you want to play. And it was because I was winning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Oh. Minter. Yeah. Angry. Got very angry. Yeah. Yeah. You, need get, you need to get good, mate. <laughs> good picture, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, next one. Short travel trips. One to two days. One day abroad. No. Oh, oh no. no. I really need to pee as well. So Go for it. You guys Go can talk it. about this. I, I enjoy, um, you know, things like Blackpool. Or yeah. Like, like no, 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 like Whitby or Whitby. Skegness, Scarborough, Dorset. Yeah. Places, like, in, places in where you can UK. go. Yeah, for like a, a long weekend. Yeah. I'd go on Friday, come back Sunday, maybe. I enjoy that. You can go to Paris for a long weekend because it only takes a couple hours to get there. From London, though. Yeah. I'm from Nottingham. I'm Gotta not in down Nottingham, and then so. go again. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, sure, you can though. But I, I think abroad. For I one go. day though, like people that do like day trips to Disneyland Paris, no, I would not want to do that. I just want to. I like to experience the whole like waking up there and saying, getting breakfast yeah, 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 and yeah, like yeah. it's ruins the whole experience. To my light off. Yeah. But I do, but then again, if someone wants to do it, if they can if they can be bothered, then go for it. I just can't be. Yeah, off. yeah, I agree. For me, they, no, if they don't but... mind traveling, I, I don't really like traveling like on, on a plane. Yeah. Like if, I, I, if, I, if, I, if I have to, if I have to fly like three hours yeah. to get somewhere and then. Spend a day there. We did it on tour. We went went to Cavos for one night, did a oh. show, and come back the next day. And just, yeah, don't like that. I mean, we got paid for it, so I, I don't mind. Well, yeah. But like, holidays, like. If you went to Australia, how long would you want to go for? I have to go for like three weeks or a month. See, this is what I always say. I'm like, to, to go to somewhere like Australia and that, but Simon's always like, nah, he wouldn't go away for more than like 10 days, really. With well, that being said, though, I think. I'm like, Australia. Same thing with Japan, though. Japan, like, I think <laughs> Australia takes longer to get to than Japan, yeah. but not by much. Did you say what? Wait, what did you just say about Cavos? I said we went. Yeah, you came, didn't you? Yeah, it's, it's like a day, and then we left again. I was kind of dead. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah, but you didn't have to rehearse, or you probably had stuff to do. Neither did you, really. To so the show was easy, yeah. so easy. I don't think JJ rehearsed. No, it was. It was like it, it was a little show. club show. Like, it was a club show. Yeah, so you just you just sit in the booth and just like uh, yeah. like it wasn't even like a show, really. Right, okay. Like it was kind of like oh. Kesai like Randolph, they come out, they did a couple of, they did whatever you, know what? you want. Like yeah. that was a mess though. Like as in like that was we were we were too old for that club. Yeah. That club was like literally as soon as you're 18, you go to these clubs. Right. Yeah. So like the that vibe was just horrible. It was like just I was like I, when you get old enough and and it's like you just realize like, oh bro, like what, what you were happy with and you were like 18 is not what you like. Yeah. You get a bit, a bit more mature. Oh, God, that's so do you both turn your light off for that? Yeah, yeah but no, because I'm saying so like... You enjoy Paris? Wow, okay. I said Paris is probably the only place that you go for a long weekend. For a day though, I wouldn't want to go to Paris. thing is, Paris is like, from London, start and finish, it, it does feel like you're just going to uh, Nottingham. Yeah. The train. I wouldn't want to go to you Nottingham. You take a day. train. It's expensive, but you take a train. <laughs> wow. But no, I just I, I, and again, if people want to go, then it's fine. I just I'd rather I'd rather I'd rather go for a f- for more, more days, like yeah. three, four. Like we we went on like a five day trip. That's fine. I don't want to cram stuff trip. in. I just yeah. want to feel like okay, I want to be bored a bit by yeah. the end. That's why I want to yeah. want to leave, not to have to leave. But see, that Kavos trip, yeah, it was what, what it means especially is like we did, we had a hotel that was way too nice for like what we did. We were an hour away. That's pretty JJ's fault to be fair. He's like, get the best. We were an hour away from where we were performing. Oh. Yeah. So it's like an hour long like car journey to perform and come back again straight away. And we were just, we, were, we weren't even there really. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, true. You know? So I, I like to, yeah, I like to, I, tell you, so I, I like to wake up, you know, walk around the town a little bit before yeah. you go to do what you're there to do. If it's for a work trip, or if it's not for a work trip, just. So you wouldn't do a Vic Star, go Australia for 48 hours? No way. The- 20, yeah, it was 48 hours. No way. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I said to him, I was like, if you went to Australia, how long would you want to spend there? How long? I said three weeks to a month. Oh! Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, it takes like a week to get into the time schedule, like the yeah. the jet lag. I think I'm quite good with jet lag. I'm but all again, right. If but it's like, for a work thing, then I would want to go for less time because like, I'm going yeah. to be doing like, work stuff there. I want to get back to start working yeah. again. Whereas if it's a trip, I'll just account for it. 
I mean, so if, if I'm going to choose to go there, I'll go and get like an Airbnb where I can put myself yeah. there. Yeah. Stay there and experience it. Same as Japan as well. I yeah. think I think Japan, let's just research it here. I think it's a similar amount of time. I think I'm good at dealing with jet lag though. Thing is, it's like you can be good at dealing with it. Like I'm pretty good at dealing with it. Like I can stay awake, but it's not as it wouldn't be as fun as if I was completely ready and like in the swing of it. But like every time we've ever gone to LA, hmm. like I book a say LA for example, I book a flight for eight a.m. Yeah, and I don't sleep till the flight. Yeah, and then I sleep the flight. I wake up, what like ten hours. My body later. clock's just too like on it. So I couldn't be so wrong. If I do that. Is it like fifteen hours? Japan is twelve hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Australia is 22 that. hours oh, yeah. or 21 and a half so yeah I take it back uh, yeah. the time difference is still it doesn't matter they've weird. already written the comments yeah right. you're so stupid so wrong yeah, mm-hmm. yeah edit your comment right now or delete it like, so sorry. <laughs> but now yeah I think Australia I'd, I'd go three to four weeks then Japan I could do two weeks yeah I mean, I'm gonna do two it I can't weeks. wait things I could do Australia in two weeks but he'd want to do like you probably want to do a week sorry I was tra- it depends what you're doing there then. it really depends what you're doing uh, like, 10 days 10 days Australia for me See Japan, I would want to do in Japan. I would want to do. Would you want to do the whole like uh, Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, yeah, all yeah. those stuff. So I would do. I, I, if I was going to go just Tokyo, I could probably do like a week, yeah, or two weeks, like a city. But I, I'd want to do like just Tokyo for two weeks. Nah, I'd probably do a week. Yeah, I was going to say if you're just doing Tokyo, yeah, but I'd, I'd go Tokyo for a week. Yeah, I, and I'd do the rest. Yeah, but I, I watched I watched a YouTube video actually. Search it. It was really it was really one. It's like a really good video. It's like a two week itinerary for Japan. It was sick. He did the whole like windy windiness of it. Wind- and, um, windiness of it yeah and, I, and it ended ended in Tokyo for like a night or two where I would do that trip and stay in Tokyo for a week mm. I want to go to Tokyo but I feel like it's going to be a long time for Tokyo like Tokyo is going to be the one that's like a yeah like you'll be able to go to Australia I think way before you can go to Tokyo yeah 100%. I don't know I want to go to Tokyo and take like six people Everyone who wants to go. Because whenever I mention it to people. I want to go. Yeah. like I know George really wants to go. Yeah. So yeah. I think it'd be so sick to be like, all right, let's go. There's yeah. like six, seven of us. We all just go. And See, sick. I want to go probably for a different reason. But all for many different reasons. Okay. Because I want to go to go, I go to buy cars and stuff. A little, guy, bit, little bit of a different reason. Yeah. yeah. And there's a company I work with like buying cards from. A like, oh, card. Them. Oh, cards, yeah. I said cards. I was no, like, no, no, no. like Pokemon He's going to come back with 13 cards. Like, <laughs> this is wild. Yeah. On the plane. Because <laughs> in Japan, there's, there's, really, there's amazing, like, underground Pokemon stores. Yeah. Not not just underground, even though some of them are, but, like, they don't market themselves. And yeah. then you yeah. go there and you just find, like, the rarest cards, which is yeah, great. That's wild. But um, then I also want to go with Laura. If I went with Laura, it'd be more like a relaxing, like, we're going go to the left, like, not just Tokyo. Whereas if I went with you, it'd be like, let's go Tokyo, anime, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's not a place, by the way. We'll go anime. <laughs> <laughs> no, go see the anime, you know, yeah. All right, next one. Mm-hmm. Flavoured water and or heavily diluted drinks. Um, I used to be a big fan, but now, now I respect water. I love water. My light is on for this. Uh, and I still love I'm water. I'm keeping my eye on for squash. My eye? <laughs> keeping my light on for squash, because that's a diluted drink. But flavoured water. But like heavily okay. diluted squash. You know where you put like a tiny bit in, and no, how it depends if it's it. double strength though. But then you put an even less. Like in. that's how my, my like I feel like all mums are like. Yeah, whereas stuff. I'm just like, give me the and syrup. I'm literally like, okay, all all the drink yeah. and then. Oh, water. I want to have to chew it. Yeah, <laughs> no added sugar, dilute. It's still it's still water. Oh, no, it's it's still water. I mean, I used to, I still like it. I still like it, but yeah. I feel like I didn't like water at that point. Like I wouldn't I it's wouldn't happily. I wouldn't happily just be like, all right, I just want a glass of water. I'd Are always you? be like, I have to have squash. Well, you I like, I like, house. I've always loved water, but I still would love to also have flavored water or juice. I like them all. I mean, we just weren't really allowed. Like we didn't have juice in the house. We didn't have fizzy drinks. I want to, I want to settle an argument here, actually. All right. Oh no. Say me and Tali had a kid, right? She's very on the side of like, oh, okay. they're going to have very nice food. Like, like I'll cook them proper meals. Like I'll cook them a bolognese. And, and I'm like, oh yeah, sometimes, you know, they got to have smiley faces. Like, you know, potato smileys. I've done this before. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Full on. You have to have smiley Which faces. one is the kid going to prefer? Smiley faces? You mad? I didn't as a kid. You didn't have them. Yes, I did. If my dad was in charge, he'd give us maybe potato smileys or like potato. Like Your dad sounds really cool. Potato dinosaurs. And I was like, what is this Chicken crap? dinosaurs. 
Turkey dinosaurs. As a baby, dinosaurs. my mum would make herself, like, make a bolognese, blend it. <laughs> 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 make a bolognese, blend it, obviously without all the salt and stuff. But she'd make the same food that her and my dad were eating and just blend it for me. As Makes a baby. sense though. That's why it's just stuff now. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> it was a joke all along. To be fair, it's true though. Yeah. It hit hard because it was kind of true. Well, no, but, uh, you know, that's good though. Sometimes you appreciate like the the proper yeah. foods. You know, the, the yeah. But I'm like, it's nah, better like, for you as well. You know, and you know, thing is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just answer this question though, and answer me this question. Today, would you prefer smiley faces or like a proper bolognese? This is the issue though. No, no, no. no it's this, smiley faces, this, isn't it? This is the issue though. If you're talking like a one-off, I would prefer smiley faces. Yeah. But like yeah, I know, a, like if you're gonna give me diet, like a yeah. yeah, as a diet, 100, percent I'd go spaghetti, yeah, like bolognese. But if you're going like, oh, you can have one tonight, I'm going. Oh, it's like having a Domino's. Like you wouldn't want it all the time, but every now and again, you're like, oh, it feels yeah. cheeky. Yeah. When I first moved out, it was like I'm getting pizza five times a week minimum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Takeaway. But as a kid, when I first moved out, as a kid, you have to cook my own meals. <laughs> True. I, I don't cook. You have to allow them to have smiley faces. She is. She's not. No. Well, to be fair, you have oh, to see. No, I said, I was like, if Simon's in charge. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Give him smiley faces. You know he can't do the bolognese anyway. Live their, yeah, live their best life. Yeah, cook bolognese. No, no, but will it be good bolognese? It's like one of the only things no, I can Would you rather have smiley faces or like shit bolognese? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Take off the turtleneck. Uh, <laughs> bolognese almost. Bo bollock naked. <laughs> bollock well, naked yeah, bolognese. No. I'd rather have potato, potato smiley than a crap bolognese. Because you need to you know they're consistently consistent. Yeah. Because they're not gross, they're not bad. They're just very, oh, they're just very nothing to me. But there's so many things I think you missed out on. When they're crispy as like, well. Do you ever have turkey dinosaurs? Uh, I don't think so, no. That's what I mean, like turkey dinosaurs. I had the slices though. with the turkey print, like the, you know, the dinosaur slices that you'd put in a sandwich. Like, yeah, no, 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 they yeah. have no, this a is like in. turkey, yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. cooked turkey and no, breadcrumbs. No, never. No, no, no. Oh, oh I had those, yeah. My That's my turkey mind. dinosaurs. Turkey dinosaurs, the turkey and breadcrumbs shaped like dinosaurs. Oh yeah, sorry. I th what I thought you meant is the one you know you get you can get sliced ham or sliced turkey that's with what... a bit of breadcrumbs on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh yeah, but I don't, like, I don't like ham still. Um, like, I don't really like, like. I don't like. I don't like sliced meat that's not like prosciutto, like cold. Like no, I like prosciutto though. Yeah, yeah. So, so you like stuff that's cured. Yeah, like if you get, you know those packs you can get where it's like sliced ham, sliced turkey, sliced chicken. All of them make me feel sick. I see why. I, I, I see why if you have too much of it. I'd rather just have I just don't like proper chicken in a sandwich or proper turkey or like actual. But that's a good example. I like, I like, pro, I like proper chicken. But that's an example chicken. of like where you don't like the processed version. I just am like that with most foods. But I don't think it's I don't like because it's processed. I just say that to make myself look like more of an adult. It just freaks me out. <laughs> like, oh, like, I, get, I get you. I get you. Like, you know, when you're, when you're a kid and someone goes like, oh yeah, do you want like a cheese and ham toasty? Ham and cheese toasty. I don't like ham anymore. And the ham that, that like, it would be the sliced ham. You put one, like, one bit of ham and then some cheese on it. Yeah. That ham freaks me out. That's so funny. Why it's is... kind of gross now, to be fair. Oh, wow. Con's just asked me about the podcast. Oh, to come. He's going to sort our lighting. I think it looks good, but he's going to, he's going to up the levels again. Love that. All right, next one. We get PDA. Um, do you know what? Is that that public displays of affection? Yeah. Stuff? Yeah. Mm. I don't mind other people doing it. Sometimes I do. It, sometimes so. I'm a bit like, oh, but live your best life. But I personally do not want people watching me in any sort of affection. Me, me and Laura have a bench that we go and walk to near me where I live, right? Just make out on it. No, 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 no. I do, I do, I do actually see where that could have gone. No, <laughs> and, and we went to our bench the other day. And on our bench, the guy was like sat like this. And the girl was literally like, Straddled. Straddled on him, like <laughs> making out. And oh. we're like, oh, that's our bench, man. We have to go to the bench after. And the bench after, uh, guy and a girl were just making out on it. So we had to go to another bench. And then, we, yeah. and then also we had, to, we had to go to another bench just to leave one bench in between us. You know what like, like you're in all rules. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I feel yeah. like... Um, I believe it. A, a peck, I'm fully fine with seeing as people do. Like, it I wouldn't even say that's like... I mean, no, it is a. I know no, it, it is, is. PDA, I'm but it's not like... elongated peck. But it's, I don't really want to watch other people snog, you know? <laughs> I get it. I guess like in that situation where I was, I guess probably they they like they don't live together. They haven't seen each other in a while. So. Let's go. <laughs> but still, it's just a bit much, isn't it? No, yeah. I would Especially not. on like a public bench. That's kind of like, you know, kids are there yeah. like feeding the ducks, which I also yeah. disagree with. Um, put that put that on the next one for me. Just say it. Uh, feeding no, 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 feeding no, no, the ducks. Not yet, not yet. I've got oh, finish this one. Okay. But I, 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 like, like, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll kiss Laura like a, like a peck. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, not going to sit there and like, 
I, I don't even I don't even love holding hands when I'm walking. By the way, not because of what it shows the world. I don't care about that, that actual like PDA yeah. stuff. Just because like Laura's hands quite low. Yeah. Whenever, whenever I walk, I have to, my, my arms like this, and it always gives me a bad <laughs> back. So I'm like, you know. And also, I, I like yeah. walking. I like, I like walking with my hands free. Gives me enough time, you know, balance. Yeah. If a dog comes, I can like neck it. If a dog comes, you can neck yeah. it. Not just in case he walks. Like, yeah. you kiss it. I was about to no, say. No, just I was in case like, he walks onto the basketball what? court. Yeah, and, and then the dog's there. Yeah, 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 freedom, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah, some people don't even oh. like seeing. Because it, it depends what you mean. Like, because also, yeah, holding hands is technically a public display of affection. But some people like, I'll do oh, that. I still do that, yeah. Stuff like that, yeah, calm. Yeah. Okay, you know what it is? This is so hot. Anything I'd see in porn. Don't want to see it because you know how like well, yeah, important. No, 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 no. Chill. Someone's just chill. Chill. What do you mean? In porn, they would they start off and they might be kissing and stuff like that. There's porns where they start walking like hands holding down the street or like very rarely. Heck, or I don't know. Very rarely. Does Back that mean me you're not here. allowed to invite someone over to do your plumbing? Or like, am I not allowed to get someone to like what? No. Like what? No. What well, because that's important. no, that's very different. That's not that's not PDA. That's not PDA though. You hiring a plumber is not PDA. Could be. <laughs> what are you thinking about? <laughs> it's what thinking about yeah, all the porn needs to watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to understand Which what you mean. Like, like in porn, if it's overtly sexual, essentially. Well, like, okay, for example, how you would kiss, like Tali said, a peck. For example, yeah. you don't normally see a peck in porn. I guess I, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, but you would see each other like... Necking. Yeah. Okay, I get you. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, so I don't yeah. want to see that out in public. Got you, got you. I just thought like you didn't need to say like porn to get that point across. Because <laughs> like, obviously what we're going to think about then is like, you know, full on like... I wasn't. Exactly. Dirty minded. Well, you said porn. What do you want me to think about? Like The start of porn, foreplay. That's what I thought about the plumber rather than, you know, the... That's actually dirtier. How? His is like in the name. He's gone like... It's porn. Porn is like sex. You've gone like storyline, plumber. Yeah. Oh, that's what you can said. Can you fix that, my plumbing? When You've you said that, when you said, <laughs> oh, that, okay. Anyway, PDA, you know, I, I don't, public, defa- public displays of affection is fine because yeah. you, you're showing, you know, I don't, I don't mind Laura showing me that she is affectionate over me. I don't mind me showing Laura I'm affectionate over her. I don't, I don't, I don't care if someone like, I, you know, when people, people are embarrassed, I feel like especially guys, like they don't want to be seen with a girl. Or they don't yeah. want to be like seen, like show, like, don't want to be seen like this person is theirs or like they're we, in a relationship, you yeah. know, because they're insecure or whatever. I don't, I, I'm happy with all that. Like I can, I can, you know, I'm happy to people to know that we, we're together. Yeah. yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm not going to sit there and like, yeah, we're not going to make out yeah. on the, yeah. on, the, on the seat. I don't agree with that. But On the seat? No, not on the seat. seat. Oh, Sorry. I was <laughs> like, why are you in a boat now? <laughs> Romantic. Yeah. Next one's feeding the ducks. Yes. <laughs> oh, light off, dickhead move. Right. If you're the what, what I don't like is you know. Not no, on there. no, I know. It's clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Light off. I just I think it's so inconsiderate. Right. First of all, you got to think about: Do the ducks really want it? Yeah, of course they do. But <laughs> what I don't like is that you know feeding the birds, feeding the ducks. Don't do it on the footpath because then you get like pigeons, like hundreds of pigeons there. I'm trying I to walk. thought he was saying it's inconsiderate to the animal. <laughs> He's saying it might him. be. I, I I don't know truly. Like what I mean, maybe someone in the that comments who bread and stuff yeah, or like them, you know, yeah. see, might be the wrong type of seeds, etc. You know, blah 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 blah. That, so I think I think it's dangerous to do that. And they, I think they do tell you actually, don't feed yeah, ducks. Don't feed so them. I, I won't. I, well, and also, if I'm with a kid, right? Uh, uh, second point. Let me get into that in a second. How often does this happen? <laughs> when, when I go for a walk, every single time <laughs> there'll be a family there feeding the ducks or feeding the birds, and, mm. and that's worse. Pigeons is worse. And you'll be on the footpath, and all you, you, you have to now walk through all these pigeons or all these ducks. To be fair, ducks are on the water, but I have to walk through all these pigeons. <laughs> I was say, if you're going to do it, do it away are... from the footpath. You know I'm saying, do yeah. it on the park or do it on the grass. Don't do it when we're innocent people are just walking past. Innocent people. And the thing is, I feel like, now my second point, parents do it just to give them kids something to do. And with my kid, I'm going to say to them, kid, look, mate, listen. Kid, look. Do some press ups. <laughs> no, no, no. You, people feed ducks, but you don't have to. It's inconsiderate. I feel like people do things like feeding the ducks because they don't know how they don't, they don't they don't know how to entertain their kid any other way. So they're like, oh, I'm gonna feed the ducks. That's what I did when I was a kid. It's dangerous for the duck. And it's dangerous for people. Did you do it when you were a kid? Yeah. Well, I was just letting your own parents. It wasn't necessarily my parents because my sister. Damn. Yeah, I'm not slating them. I just disagree with that action that I did when I was a kid. And I'll, I'll happily debate with my parents and my dad if you, if they were out here. Damn. Actually. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, now he's got that one off his, his yep. chest. <laughs> I'll throw a stone at a pigeon one day. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I know it missed, but sorry. I've actually just clocked that this list that Anthony has written is fourteen. Okay, fourteen things that shouldn't have even won. By the way, well, well, that was actually number nine. Well, 
that was the tenth, but that is that wasn't actually on the list. Yeah. Okay. So we've got we're gonna do a, a quick fire. Okay. There's five left. Okay. We're gonna go quick okay, fire. Okay, okay. Okay, so unless you really have something against it. Lights yeah, on or off. Yeah. yeah. Eating the healthier version of food. Off. On, off. Off. What? Yeah. On, because I think, you know, if you want to be healthy, I think that's great. But for me personally, off. <laughs> because I don't eat the healthy uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should, but I don't. I don't like okay. light versions. I don't like diet versions. But I think, okay. You know, good luck. So, Classical music. On. Love it. It's good, isn't it? When you're relaxing, me and Laura put it on the bows, re- relaxing. Amazing. Yeah. Cleaning up. You know, stuff like um, epidemic sounds, like the two steps from hell. That kind of stuff. Oh. Makes right. better. Like yeah. film music. I think that's the thing that yeah. Violins With that. But like it, it makes videos better, yeah. But listen to it and it just makes it makes you you realise like, yeah. Motivated. I'm I'm amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna just climb this mountain today. I'm gonna beat that dog up. Yeah. Why? What? You threw a He's just preparing. At a pigeon. He's just preparing. Oh, you're gonna throw a stone at a pigeon. Mm-hmm. Next one. Lil Nas X's music video. Oh yeah. I think Montero oh, I and Devil Shoes. I think it's sick. I like it's it really shaking sick. stuff up, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. One's yeah. Sick. I like that. Oh, Wait, is the name of the music video? Is the name of the song Montero and Devil Shoes? No, Devil Shoes it's called Montero. Be, yeah. No, it's called Montero. Uh, call me what you want, or something. So okay. it's also Devil Shoes as well. Okay. You know his Devil Shoes he released. Yeah, like on our. Don't know if seen that. But actually, you'll I'm... see the Nike shoes that he released. He released like six hundred and sixty-six pairs of them for six hundred and sixty pounds. But I'm, I'm gonna talk about that off because the fact that he, you know, it wasn't. So it was a Nike shoe, mm. uh, with the Devil logo on. Yeah. And like fake blood or something. Wasn't mm, there like... No, no, no. It had a it has vial actually... of blood when you buy the shoe. Yeah. Fly on. I think it's and uh, then Nike came out and were like, these aren't our shoes. So he's literally done it. But apparently Nike are suing him for it. Yeah. But the most, he... realistically, they can set... sue him for like, they could sue of... No, nah, you can do more defamation. of defamation. defamation. You can say loss of the devil ones. But I think he can get out of most of it because it's art. Because he released 666 of them. There's something about, you know, like... No. Like, for example, people who, if you buy a pair of Nike shoes, paint them, mm. and then sell them on, mm. you can't get sued. Yeah. Because you're not selling them as... No, you're not selling them as a Nike product. Yeah. So I don't know if he'll be able to get out of it. I think light on. Regardless, I, regardless I just like, I think like... I like people that try and break the boundaries. Yeah, it? I do agree with the, the, con- the concept of it, the des- design of it, it's fine. But I feel like, you know, it'd be, it'd have been sicker if they actually were yeah. in collaboration with Nike. That's what I'm saying. Customized ringtones. Oh, light off. But customized alarm tones <laughs> are the best. Customized alarms. Yeah, that's what yeah. you use. I have, the, I, have the, I have the Pokemon theme tune. It's so good. I don't really customize Gen two. choose any songs I've got on here. True. It's in their personal. They're not like what's default. I just think if you're an adult, just let your phone ring. I shouldn't be picking up to Beyonce. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, love I love Beyonce, but I like... agree. But waking up, it gets you in a better mood. Yeah, though. waking up is different. But I'm not going to be out in the shop. Having the last late. one is Attack on Titan season four, which I haven't seen. I'm the only one that watches Attack on Titan here, and I haven't seen season four yet. So I think we're just going to skip that one. Yeah, like of course. It's not, it's, not, it's not even a good what's a good question as well. No, but that is <laughs> the what's good questions. That is it. I... Do you know what we should do every? What we? This is my podcast. Wow. Now. What you should do every time is light on, light off for that set of questions. Say again. Light on, light off for that set of questions. For Anthony's question. Was it Anthony? Oh. Light on, light yeah, off. Yeah, we should. Are they good? What? As in like the last question is right. Anthony's questions. Light on, light off. Oh, good. okay. Good. Anthony's good. questions. Overall, yeah. I give it a, I give I, it a I think right. seven out of ten. Okay, so light on. Light on. I'd yeah, say light on. on. Yeah. Okay. Well then, Anthony, you passed. Okay. Congratulations. So there's going to be one time where someone fails, you know. And then the fact that it's the most liked comment as well. And we've just gone, <sighs> it's failed. You know what I feel about? I've seen someone comment for the last two saying, guys, I'm releasing my What's Good Questions in like two weeks. I think it's Copy. I think I know his name. Is that I'm releasing my, my, my What's Good Questions. And I'm like, what if they don't get picked though? Oh. Maybe we'll have to find his We'll one. see. We'll, we'll see. Then, yeah. What if they get picked? Bad idea. I'm so fucking hot. What I'm if they really get picked? Well. Yeah, it's quite hot in here right I'm now. I'm trying to like I cover this. 16 on. I don't think it's working. No, it's because you can't put it that low. You have to put it up a couple. But it was, you didn't have it on, you know. You had it on an auto. Yeah. But that's if you go too low, it doesn't go on because then it turns off the whole thing. Damn. It wasn't on. I don't think it was on before. Because that's cooling and you can't have heating in another room and cooling in this room. Mate, that's dead. You're dead. It's not hot. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, the next thing recently happened. Mm. Nico is running for yeah. mayor. Oh, my 
like Tali is not happy. No, I'm not. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I just hope that like <laughs> I'm such a grandma. I hope he like, takes it seriously. No, but do you know what I mean? Is in like I hope like because he could do some really sick things. Curly fries every day at schools. Yeah. I want them to have what I miss. Turkey out dinosaurs on. every day as an adult for lunch, m- mandatory. With smiley faces. Yeah, I'm being. This is what I'm talking as, about. Being shaped of alphabets. That's spaghetti. Spaghetti hoops. No, spaghetti is shaped as alphabets. I never ate them, you know. I have letters. I have letters. Yeah, yeah can you, you can spell out poo or you can spell out like Pokemon in, in your cereal or your soup. Soup. So you ate poo? <sighs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, did you think it was an April Fool's at first? No. Did you? No. It's just a Nico. Yeah. It, like, I'm actually That's, surprised it's not already happened. Everyone in everyone in my stream on that day was like, it's got to be an April Fool's. Was that actually on April Fool's Day? I think he must. I think he announced it then. I hate it April might Fool's have been the day jokes after. or pranks. Like, wow. like well, rip to no, I, like, I, like, I actually like yours one because it's like, what I, I like jokes. I like things that are funny. I don't like lies. I don't like when articles, I don't like when well respected articles yeah. or like news pages write an this article happens. that could be real. Yeah. And at the bottom, they say, oh, just, just kidding. Yeah. You know, like it's just dead. Like, don't lie or don't prank. Just like be funny, you know? Yeah. Or, you know, put a whoopee cushion to someone. Oh, April Fools. You know, <laughs> not like, oh, the queen's dead. Just kidding. Haha. <laughs> it's like, no. That's, She's not. Yeah. It's just yeah, stupid. No, I I hate that. That. That's fair enough. But um, do you think it'd be a good mayor? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Like, do I want him to win? Yeah, because it'll shake things up. Do I think he could do good as a person of influence with the right, you know, team yeah. behind him? But does he know anything about politics? If he doesn't, then he shouldn't even be running. Sorry. It's true, it's true. That, I, that is what Charlie means. I think yeah. that's what my standing is. Like, if he, like, because he could actually, like, think about the crappy do you think you'd want... mayors that we've had. But you're saying, you're saying, do I want him to win? Yes, but he doesn't know anything, so he shouldn't be running. No, no. Do, do I, you saying if he doesn't I, I don't think he should win. I think he should, I think he should, I think he should run for it. I think he should, like, have a campaign. I think he should shake it up and make other politicians and other people run for me. I think, what can I bring... That's something that, you know, I think benefits I, younger people. As yeah, well. and don't, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, Nick, as someone of, of, you know, influence, what he can do for the kids as well. And he could, he could do so much. And I'm, yeah. I, people would listen to Nick more than they would anyone else, which is what you're yeah. saying. But only if he, only if he actually believes he can do change and not, if yeah. he, not, not it's, just, it's just a joke. Like being serious. Like I, I, I'm supporting of him. Yeah. It's going to be like, sick to see I, him do what it. What I wouldn't want is that he gets into a, a room with officials and he turns it into a prank and then he loses all respect. Because what the best thing to come out of this would be that he gets a lot of respect for the younger generation because we don't get respect as it is. It's just like, oh, he's not going to win because of this. Do but you think that's turned... possible though? No. <laughs> do you think that he like w- no, he could turn he, it around? I think and... he could do it as a joke, but still implement like... Yeah. He can, he can... Like he can be sarcastic. He can be funny. He can do wild things, but all while having like a good idea and a good plan. I think you can. I think yeah. 100% you can do that. Yeah, it depend, depends what like responsibilities you have. I, I don't know or what. Or he can <laughs> like open up a Starbucks and just use the mayor as like a title. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? He'll I don't just know. Be what... like, the mayor gets free food everywhere. Yeah. That's like, it. yeah. Well, he's already said he'll ban Jake Paul if he becomes mayor. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Gets my vote. Yeah. It depends what responsibilities he actually has. Like, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know enough about yeah, politics. Yeah, this is to another thing. That. I if, don't if, really yeah. know what the mayor can do. Because obviously, he's, he's you know, a member of society. He's lived life in London as well. Mm-hmm. So he, he can, you know, he can probably look at his upbringing, his friends at school as well, yeah. the struggles that they might have had or may not have had through life and then, and then use that platform and use that position to actually like improve mm-hmm. the, the city and the communities. But if it actually is like serious, if, if it's like he has to like then, you know, you know, help with the economy or like actual stuff that, you know, takes, <laughs> does, does take serious like actual. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I don't know. I felt like, I might be wrong, but I don't think the mayor of London does anything to do with that. Um, they do run stuff like shutting down TFL, don't they, though? And like, you know, expanding that. It's also stuff to do with seats. Like, he, he'd take away the Conservative seat, which is a good thing, from London. Mm. Wait, no, that's not right, is it? Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's right. I, I've, I've no, no idea. I've no idea. London, but then, London is a constituency, is it? There's, there's diff- like, the city of London, and then you've got Westminster, and then, like, all the boroughs. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not. Southwark, et cetera. This is the dumbest I think we've ever collected. I mean, this is how we started, isn't it? We said, if you've come here to literally hear people that don't know anything yeah. about this it. Is, this is that's, the that's whole the point, point though. Like, yeah, like, does he yeah. know more than we do? Yeah, but, I mean, probably. To be fair, probably does. But like, does, does he know enough to be, I think, To no. be the mayor. Yeah, it's like, he, it's like, you know. Boris Johnson can do it. Do you think. I'd rather Nico than Boris. Do you think he'll win? So, Being like brutally honest. No. If, 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 
if Labour don't win, I don't think you know it, the, the 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 vocal minority is always so small. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. the, the, the amount of people you can rile up, the amount of people also, you can you get on your side. Age. age as well, yeah. Like, I yeah. Mean, like if everyone that if everyone could vote, I think you'd have a chance. Yeah, yeah. But if if, it's, if everyone had, you know to what? The thing is though, he, he, yeah. I've not. I've not, I've not even actually seen the full clip that he did. I just kind of watched a bit of it. But it, he might be doing this as a way to actually get young people to vote. If, if he if he can get people to actually vote, that'll be like half the battle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether yeah. they vote for him or not, or whether they vote for him, he doesn't win. The next yeah. time, they'll actually take an interest into politics, and then like that, you know, he could do. The thing is, I don't know what he's going to do with it. And like that's what Talia is saying. Yeah, yeah. Like he could use it. He could do this, and it could be incredible for everyone around. Or he could do it just as a way to get a title, and yeah, and, which is fine as long as you don't actually like win and then don't have screw, screw something yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. But, then, but then again, you can't. I don't think he would do that. Yeah. I don't think he could even do that. Yeah. Can't you retire straight away though? Don't I don't know. know. I've not, I, I've, I've no idea how it works. Like, <laughs> I have no he idea could, he could realistically say he won. He could just the next day go like, I'd like to announce my retirement from being Surely that's a waste of time of everyone who did run seriously. This is though. what I mean. Yeah, it wastes everyone's it time. Is, but and at the same time. It wastes every voter's time. That, that would, that's the sort of situation that's like, but I think everyone, I'm not trying to be humbug either. But I think every like single that. person yeah, that no. knows Nico yeah, no. would be like, "Yeah, that was, was that right?" That was kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he he won, and I just went, "Yeah, hey, I'm alright." I actually don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd, 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 love, I'd love to see him do well and, yeah. and do well. But then, in mean, that yeah. situation, would it go to the next person in his party? Because his party's won essentially, or would it then be a re re-election for a different party? Like, would it? Would it I don't know. Again. No, I do not the smartest. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm no, not I really. I don't know much about that sort of thing, which is good. But um, yeah, vote for Nico. You know, <laughs> or not? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's, yeah. It's, uh, yeah I mean, if you can't vote for Nico, you know, there's a lot of people who aren't English or live in London. Mm. True. Yeah. Sometimes you know, if you're a supporter of of Nico, if you're a supporter of YouTube, especially UK YouTube, and you'd like to vote for him but can't. Make sure you check out ExpressVPN as a sponsor. Now, just to clear up, you can't just use a VPN to vote for him. You cannot vote. Yeah. <laughs> we just, we just saw it as a segue. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't vote if you're not a citizen. You know? yeah, no, yeah. Or if you're not from London. Yeah. But if you do want to watch Netflix, you know, if you want to you know, <laughs> watch a video that's blocked in your country, then definitely get on ExpressVPN. Now, there are tons of VPN providers out there. You've probably heard of a couple of them. And some of you may have even used a VPN before. But they're I... Ops. They're, 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 they're bad. The ops. Bad yeah, ops. Yeah, yeah, bad yeah. ops. Yeah. I like to do my research on my sponsors. And I only recommend brands to my listeners that I believe in. And use. I can say with full confidence that ExpressVPN is the best VPN on the market. And here's why. And I actually used my app yesterday to watch an LA Galaxy game. There you go, Bundy. Did you play? Yeah. Come on. ExpressVPN doesn't log your data. Lots of really cheap or free VPNs make money by selling your data to ad companies. And that's true. I was a victim of it. ExpressVPN developed a technology called Trusted Server that makes it impossible for their servers to log any of your info. Second is speed. I've tried lots of VPNs in the past. Many slow your connection down or make your device sluggish. I've been using ExpressVPN for years, actually, like at least two or three years now. And my internet speeds are blazing fast. Even when I connect to servers thousands of miles away, I can still stream HD quality videos with zero lag. And it's true. I used to play Warzone and I actually was, uh, my ping was better on ExpressVPN um, when I was playing Warzone, especially also downloading it. If I was going to download an update, I'd always go on America, put my VPN to, yeah. ExpressVPN to America and that, yeah, so much quicker. Yeah. The last thing that really sets ExpressVPN apart from other VPNs is how easy it is to use. Unlike other VPNs, you don't have to input or program anything. You just fire up the app and click one button to connect. It's so easy, even your grandparents well, hey, could use it. Old people are stupid. And it's not just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. And it's not just me saying this. Wired, The Verge, CNET, and many other tech experts rate ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. So protect yourself with the VPN that we use and trust. Use our link expressvpn.com slash what's good today and get an extra three free months on a one year package. That's expressvpn.com slash what's good. Visit expressvpn.com slash what's good to learn more. And also link in the description. Check it out. Three months free on a one year package. But what I was also going to say as well, especially if you do play Warzone, especially Warzone, but any other games, if you go, if you change your ExpressVPN to America, um, maybe like New York, and then go and play Warzone, close it, open it, open it again. It's so much easier because Americans are so bad at Warzone. It's so funny. Well, they have some amazing players. It's just yeah, it's there's just so many of them. Yeah, there's so many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like I feel like SBMM, like it's harder to match you. So like you get put with some stinkers sometimes. Yeah. And the best part though is the uh, kill kill. Uh, you know when you kill someone, you can hear them. Mm -hmm. So funny. Yeah. Like, oh man, he's hacking. Like, no English people get vocal. Yeah. They just go. Oh. Now they do. They just swear at you. Yeah. 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 Well, speaking of uh, games. 
Warzone had an update. They brought out some new yeah. stuff. I Among heard us also. You play on PC, right? Yes. I heard the update was the size of the full game. Yeah. I don't know if I've even done it. It was a hundred and something gigs. Yeah. 180 gigs. So I, I, I hadn't played Warzone for months, right? Because yeah. I deleted it. It was too much. And I, then I cleared a, a terabyte off my PC to play it again. Downloaded 90 gig worth. And now I've got to download more again. Yeah, oh my God. The game's like 180 gig or something. The update was ridiculous. This update. I Apparently, swear all they did was like, they added in some extra. Yeah, it didn't seem that big. I, it, yeah. I mean, I didn't. Couple extra kills auto streaks. updated, yeah. so I don't actually know. But I just want to say that. So not a great source. <laughs> no, but they are changing the map slightly. In a couple of weeks, I think. Oh yeah, for the eighties. Yeah, it's going like eighties themed. So it's oh, like the sick. the dam is now like a what it used to be. What's it called? It's like a bridge, isn't it? it? It's either a bridge or a aqueduct. Aqueduct. That's the word I was looking for. Um, but yeah, they they did an update which I feel like it's decent, but it's a little underwhelming. It's it's more just like a patch rather than a yeah. The other one among us that was an underwhelming update. Well, to be fair, a we whole played new it map. I played it. Tali's played it. It's too big. Is it dead? Yeah. They, do you know what baffles me? If they'd have split that map into two, maybe even three, pro- probably two. Yeah, but then I feel like if they'd you... have come out with two maps, and they'd have been good sizes. Like, because the rooms are actually cool. Like the tasks okay, are good. Is, it, is it's... the mechanics like the ladders and stuff? Are they cool? Yeah, like it's cool having a different like up and down. Like the like it's it's interesting. And it definitely changes your playstyle. It, it's just so big that like if you don't want to put hours into it you're never going to enjoy it that, if you do yeah. want to put hours into it it takes ages well they said they're going to make it 15 players and that's ridiculous and I'm like uh, so the reason you said oh you haven't played it yet I was going to play we were it gonna, that oh, day yeah, last week. and then like a couple people fell out etc so we were down to like 8 and I saw people play it and I was like I'm not playing that map with 8 people because no, yeah. I barely want to play it with 10 yeah even with 15 I think comms are so messy on 10 already but when you have 15 people all trying to get their say in, oh my God, do you mean meetings yeah. for 25 minutes? The reason that game was so big and the reason it succeeded so much is because it was the perfect game for anyone to play, like casuals. Yeah. Like you could play it with, you know, like say a family, right? Instead of doing like a, a, a quiz night or a Zoom call, yeah. you could jump on Among Us and that could be your like socializing. Yeah. That could be your family's like icebreaker to have a, a good even night. Some the, even some of the tasks, like they're all, they're made for like kids, yeah, but some of them are like a little bit confusing yeah, on the new one. Yeah, to figure out when you've never played it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like if you watch just most people play Among Us, they'll always play Scaled, the original map. Yeah, yeah. Some go on to Polis. Yeah, but Polis if you play competitively. Yeah, it's just like one of those no, things. Like, where it's like, like I just feel like playing competitive Among Us. Comp- it's not a competitive game, is it? Like no. it's, it's meant to. Be, it's like a mini game. Yeah. You know, it's like a, it's like a it's a game you just play with family. Yeah. Oh, you can't take it seriously, especially if you're a streamer. And you you know like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the lobbies and stuff. But like realistically, it's still yeah. it's it's, it's going to lose its core base if it's too yeah. difficult. It has to have a it has to have a really easy entry point, which it, which it did have. You know, you just, if you haven't got it, you, I think you also kind of need that entry point for it to be competitive. Like as someone that played it in a like sweaty way in a sweaty lobby like yeah when it's too big there's no you there's no skill to winning because you just you're just far away from everyone and it's like oh like you kill someone and it takes everyone so long to find the body that you don't even need a good story yeah. like you don't need to come up with anything you don't need anything clever it's just oh i was over here and thing you just saw me and it's like well this ha- could have happened 35 seconds ago and it's like yeah well, yeah true it takes out any skill and it also takes out the fun yeah, it's just annoying to me that they said, "Oh, we're not going to release Among Us Two because we're working on Among Us One." Then took seven months yeah. to release that, and not even that they didn't they even didn't like add colors or anything. Yeah, they could have just improved the game as they go. You know what I'm saying like, like they could have. They said they're not going to do Among Us Two because they're going to work on Among Us One. Yeah, yeah what have they, they done? Release, yeah, other than add, I know they, they, didn't they do some stuff where you can like now you can hide. Uh, certain no, things? so this is all mods. Right. Okay. So this is none of them. I saw in the base game you could do something where you could. You could surely like hide the body it. and stuff. No, they added. I, can't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Because there's something in the settings that we changed on vanilla that wasn't there when we first started playing. Oh, you can hide votes, anonymous voting. Yeah, they added oh, that, right. Yeah. But again, yeah, got you. That literally one game later, you're like, yeah, yeah. It's one of those games that needs continuous. It needs a map every month or two. Every like three months, maybe a map. I think you just all you, all you do it like you give people the ability to make a map. Yeah, that's it. Because yeah. if you do that, the top maps will get pushed. Yeah, and then you'll just go like most popular maps, and there'll be like five of them that yeah. are like everyone. Yeah, like like Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you just choose those, and everyone will just play them. And or that's even it. just like swapping around um, tasks. Like G said, she was like, "It'd just be so cool if you could have like tasks move on a map or move, move electrical. Yeah. Like electrical's now on the right hand side type thing. 
yeah, an event like, takes you somewhere else. You customize events, yeah, like, yeah, just to make it fresh. Because like one one thing that like, if you're the a mods killer, helped it a lot, yeah. yeah. But then, but then also the mods helped it go take away from the casuals, right? Yeah, like, that can intimidate someone. Imagine if you had, yeah. imagine if you had like a, a cousin, an auntie that would like play with you, yeah. and now you're, you're like, oh sorry, you explain you, more. You're going on Steam yeah, now, download this. All they want to do is jump on their phone yeah, and play. No. Yeah. That but if, if you're if you're an imposter on like uh, on on Skeld, right? You just go into electrical, kill someone, jump through the vent. I I, I should do that every single time. Yeah, it's like always work. But now it's like, oh, did you? I I saw you in med bay. Did you kill someone in electrical? And it's like, well, yeah. Where else? Like yeah. you know what? You know. Yeah. Well, everyone got to like we. I mean, we even said in the lobby that I used to play in like if crew wants to win, you will win. Yeah. Like you cannot win as imposter anymore if you play with people that know because you just you vote on eight, you vote on nine, you vote people out when the right times and you will get the imposters out. Like yeah. it's literally impossible to win as imposter when you know the maps out well. Which is I think maybe why they made a map so big, but I think now it's just so like it's just a guessing game. Well all the people who play Among Us on stream are three days into the new map and they've all added mods. Yeah. And I'm like, this was meant to be, you know, you have this map for the next month or two. Then you can start adding in yeah. mods again and that's yeah. like how you continue playing Among Us. They're already doing mods on this. I'm like, that game's dead in three weeks. I feel like yeah. culture right and memes ruin games as well. See, like, when Among Us first came out, everyone knew would play it. Even in my Discord. I, I would play with random people in my Discord, like, you know, like, like subscribers of my Discord. Yeah. It, it's still really fun. It's like, oh, what are you doing here? What are you doing there? And then, like, after a while, it was like, does anyone, like, people people say, I don't want to play Among Us. And everyone's like, lol, no. Like, what? No, yeah. That's not cool. It's, it's old, not cool anymore. Yeah. Same, thing, same thing happened with Fortnite. Like, Fortnite used to be, the like, the best game. And yeah. now. Yeah. And Fall Guys. It's still big. But if you, if you admit you play for, uh, Fortnite, everyone's like, Phew. Play Fortnite, play Fortnite. Yeah. Still, yeah. game for kids, mate. You know, but it's like memes do that to it. Whereas, like, yeah. I had some great times on Fortnite. It's amazing, you know. Uh, and it has its issues, but I feel like yeah. the reason it gets memed is not just Fortnite they added is a at least like kept game. changing and kept evolving. It's still the biggest game, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of the yeah. world's biggest games. But the thing is, like, it changes too much almost now. I loaded, I loaded a stream yeah. the other day watching someone play Fortnite. There was a Velociraptor chasing a chicken. Didn't they mess it up? I think in the new update, you have to build guns now. <laughs> you can build guns. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you like upgrade guns and stuff. But I was literally, he, he's like on a boat and then he jumps off and then a velociraptor comes around chasing a chicken. Yeah. And he kills the velociraptor. I feel like Fortnite's a perfect like, example of what a game company should do when they prioritize the players over streamers. Yeah. Because they've kept the game. Yeah. Like, streamers don't necessarily get amazing views on it or whatever, anything anymore. But as a game, like, they've kept it live. They've, they've kept it fresh. And they've kept it to pro. They've, they've catered to the pro community as well, right? The, the, they've catered to they both, can. though. Yeah. yeah, it's hard. It's not an easy job. They're I, I not do as feel, like yeah. a creator. They've not done. Oh the yeah, creators. yeah. Well, hopefully, Epic Games taking over Fall good. Guys. Yeah. Will now make Fall it Guys is better because I've already enjoyed playing Fall Guys. Uh, I'm already bored of it now. Yeah. But it's much that actually than brought than me back onto it. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred. Like the fact they even brought in squad games. It's like thank you finally. Yeah. I never enjoyed that game though. But now it's squad. So if you win, I win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank God. And like, you can't be knocked out and I'm staying. I stay oh, in. I can carry in. So, you so it's like, like if you, the it earlier makes, you finish... It creates the morale. It's the earlier the you finish, the more points you get. Yeah. And the top, like, four teams qualify, then the next, the top two teams yeah. qualify. So that, like, that, I, yeah. if I finish first, Tyler finishes second, then you finish like last, we can still qualify and then we'd all go through. Yeah, that's good. That's so dead. Like, like we'll play, and if one person dies in the first round, I have yeah, to watch sorry, you guys okay, fall. Yeah. I don't yeah. mind doing that, but then again, if I'm streaming, it's and like, if it happens every time, yeah, no, it's yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got to sit there like <laughs> so that, that immediately. That immediately made me want to play again because I was just like, yeah. oh, it's quite fun because now I know we all True. fail or we all succeed. It, all stop, just... it also stops till like it stops it being so like anger inducing because when you do badly, it's like everyone's like, no, no, it's you're calm, you're calm, yeah, because it's a team thing. Yeah, I think Rocket League's gonna be like um, go from like strength to strength, you know. Really? I think Rocket League's going to be one of the biggest esports. I don't know what... I, I think, yeah, but sports, yeah. I don't know what else they can add to it. They need to, though. That's, that's why, I think that's why it's so good. Because, like, see, like... True. Warzone, Fortnite. I it's it's, why, it's why, like, Valorant and CSGO as well. I need to pee again somehow. Damn. I have been drinking a lot of water, though, to be fair. True. Started this today, and I had a whole shaker. Yeah, but you've already peed twice. I peed once in this. Yeah, but you peed just before we started. Before that started. was, like, half an hour before, though. No, it was, it was before, right before. Nice. No, you then pee, we had to pee, test the audio pee, and stuff. Like yeah. maybe five. Just don't, drink, just don't drink then. Yeah, what are you doing? You see, you I'm thirsty. But then, then don't be thirsty. Yeah, well, just don't be thirsty. No, no, no. Thanks. Sorry, sorry. Just, just allow being thirsty. I, I'm gonna have to. I've accepted it. I'm gonna have to pee again. But anyway, the reason why I, what, I think Rocket League will be good is because see, like, and and, and also games like Valorant and also games yeah. like CS:GO where they build the game, and that's it. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, maybe they make like changes to like um, the the core game doesn't change yeah. at all. Like, like they change guns. Like they add a, a character or like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But even even Rocket League, they won't even ever add that. I don't think it's just no. They just change different types of cars, but they all have the same like very minor hit different hitboxes. Boxes, but they're all they're all the same. You know, but very minor. Yeah, like. but but also if you go in, if you go into the pro if you go if you're pro, everyone uses the same car anyway. Yeah. Um. But the thing about it is like it's 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 the, it's the core game, right? The skill gap's huge as well. So like if you're playing it right, you have a lot of respect for the pros. We also feel like you can get there one day. Like, you know, I, I can get there. But I, I said, what was I like, CSGO? It's like something. all about aim. It's all yeah. about, it's all about like, yeah. like the actual, it, it, you can learn that. You, you have can grow that ability, that. you have it. If you Be man, yeah. There's very little you can do together. Whereas Rocket League, you just got to learn the techniques. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Now yeah, go for it, go for it. But also it's, it's football as well, right? Like, yeah. not, not even football, but anyone, everyone understands that there's two goals. Mm. You got to put this ball in the net. It's like it's Valorant, game hard to get into. Yeah. yeah. You have oh. still not played, have you? Valorant? No, 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 oh, no. Rocket League, yeah. Yeah, it just looks like not my sort of game. Like, it just... The thought of driving a car to hit a ball in a net. I guess it's football and cars. Doesn't. If you don't like cars or football. Like, yeah. I just think I'd rather play a racing game or a football game. I don't, like... It, to me, do you know what? No disrespect, because I think I understand the skill in it. Like, I've seen clips and I've been like, that's genuinely mad. How did that become a pro game? like a pro like esports game where cars like when you think about it just on paper it's a game where cars drive and hit a ball into a net but That's there so is cool, so though. much skill in it and i know there is so i'm not taking away from that but it is mad when you think about it that's cool That's an nah, esports because game. racing's a game racing's like a competitive sport yeah and so is football i know i suppose you just put them together and p- people love like monster trucks like, run, like i feel like it's got that vibe of it yeah it's like, my, my, yeah what? it's like in an arena cars playing football and you can you can jump around. That's sick. I think this is classic. Like it's just not made for me. Maybe it's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I guess if especially if you like the stereotypical like guy, right? Yeah. Who doesn't really like? Doesn't, sorry, hold on. Or stereotypical girl. Yeah. Who, like, who doesn't like football. Football, doesn't like football. Doesn't like. Because I like football and I like cars, but I just don't. You should play. You haven't played it yet, though, right? No. You got to play it. You feel it, it's, I like it, it's, maybe when I play it. Is it yeah. controller? Yeah. Well, you can play PC, Ooh. but the pros play controller. Yeah. So it's better. Uh, but it's, and I think it's sick. It's so responsive as well. That's why I like it the most. Like you play for, uh, FIFA, horrible. And you'll play this, and it's like you're amazing. Even like Fortnite and Warzone. I should probably try it. I do have a friend who's a esports uh, coach for Rocket League. There you go, like, Dragon. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Teach me. Boom. Yeah. But also, I'm just like, oh, I think it just anger me. I could just feel it. You won't enjoy it. Yeah. I can already tell. In, in issue, you gotta give it time. I though. do get obsessive. Though, it's so I? hard at the start. Once you get into it, yeah, so if I get one it's... good little thing, I'll be like. Is it? Do, pros, pros will use controller for that, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel like you obsess over games with mouse and keyboard. I'm trying to remember a controller game apart from like Overwatch, Overwatch like f- four or five years ago. When I was controller, yeah. You still yeah. can do if you if you more comfortable on PC mouse, PC keyboard, no, you I'd, can do that. I uh, play keyboard controller. Mouse. I play controller for that. Yeah, it's, 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 it just feels so responsive, right? Yeah. I was playing clubs, then went to Rocket League. I was like, oh, it's so good. Yeah. You turn straight away. There's no input delay. Whereas FIFA, it's like you press pass. And it's like I have to wait for the guy to animate himself to then pass. It's just oh, so yeah, dead. I don't like that. Uh, well, the next thing. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, well, not speaking of, but the fact that I've drunk so much water. Cal Freezy's challenge. Yeah. Mm. So we're recording this on a Sunday. Yep. Sunday, right? It's a Sunday. Okay, it is Sunday. Too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're recording this on Sunday. Monday, Freezy's releasing his video, so it's already out. If you want to go check that out. He's doing a challenge from this. I believe it's the 16th he's starting. It might be the 14th. Can't remember. One of the two. Um, for a whole month. Now, this challenge, I'm gonna I'm gonna read out what you have to do in it, and we'll see if you guys will do any of them. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. I actually think I want to get involved. Like. You should. But also. Have you? Have you? Do you know what they are? Same. I know what some of them are. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend. We'll pretend, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to actually find... I think I can tell. I, can think I, I think I can I tell know you most looking. of them. I just wanted to... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I know most of them, but I wanted to okay, make sure. Yeah. I've never heard these before. Cold morning shower. What? That's mental. I didn't yeah. even know that was going to be on there, though. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that 100% I would do. I would love to do that. I normally have a bit of a cold shower anyway in the morning when I have a normal shower. So why don't... Are we, are we all agreeing? Let's, should, should we make an agreement that it. we're doing it? I'm going to try and do it, yeah. Okay, you can right. do it, try and do all of it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll do all of it. I know what... Uh, You're what not doing all of it. No, I'll do it. Yeah, I know. You're going to do all of this? Yeah. Oh, read it out, read it out. Okay, cold morning shower. Yeah, easy. Okay. That to me is like... I love horrible. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. I'm hoping it's really warm. If it's really hot, it's re- I love oh, yeah. a cold shower. Oh, yeah, so. you got, you got to just like 
you know what you should do? Re- read it out, and I'll, yeah, t- yeah, yeah. Read it out and I'll tell you the perfect way to do this. Because yeah. the cold morning shower as well is like, Exercise, I've heard a lot of things about the cold morning shower being like, well, the video you linked, like the flinch or something like that. That was, that was Calyx. Yeah, but you also linked stuff to do with that. You've like no, no, no. So before. no, so it was it was written by Julianne Smith, oh, and I okay. linked a video from Julianne Smith back on YouTube. I had nothing to do with that, but yeah. So yeah. the thing that holds you back from being as successful as you can be is well, called well. the flinch, yeah. and it's like moments of self doubt, etc. Yeah. And one of the things you can do like four things to get rid of that. One of the things is to have the cold shower. Yeah. Because then it's a like friend you, know, of my, you, can... you know Imogen. Yeah. Her husband, friend of my Imogen, her husband Spencer, he did two weeks cold shower challenge. And he, every day it has to be like no heat, not at all, just cold. Um, he started on 30 seconds and his last one was four and a half minutes, I think he did. And he filmed it every morning and I was just like, oh my God. But he did a whole post on it. And I was like, actually, it kind of makes sense. Like if you push yourself, because it gives you that moment of just like, it sucks. But you I ain't getting clean in 30 seconds. No, 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 <laughs> but you do, you have a normal shower as well. But it's After, just, yeah. it's an ice cold. You just have to stand there and just oh. take I mean, it. It's, yeah. it, I think it's like statistically proven to like, you know. It's um, benefiting you. Doing sharpen it. your brain, you know. I mean, that's like. It's also your hair isn't meant to be washed in yeah. hot water. No, but yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know, hair. ice baths are you know proven to yeah, yeah. helps muscle recovery. Oh, and stuff I've like. done an ice bath before. That was not fun. All right, next one: three liters of water a day. That I need to be doing. I this is just my voice. Yeah, this is one point nine. Is apparently what it like one point nine okay. liters. So I'm meant to drink this plus a half again. Three, three. I, I used to do two liters a day. Three's 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 good. a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Three is a lot. It's really good for you though. Like, Really, my I mean, have you seen how much I peed already? <laughs> when I would you do... are an excessive peer, though, as it is. Like, you have quite a small bladder. All right. Pro- pro- proven today. <laughs> proven today. Are you going to pee again? Yes. When, when I was losing weight, and I was successfully losing weight, not, not when it was just waffle, um, <laughs> and, and, and I lost a lot, what was the, what was the main reason? Oh, yeah, same. Because not only, not only does it, like, it's, you know, you, you'll lose water weight anyway, but also then you'll, you know, it's healthy for you. You you don't eat as much. because like, Fills you, you up. You, yeah, it literally fills you up. Yeah. Uh, it should, what I think to be fair, in, in everyone's life, if there's one thing you could fix, even more than like exercise and even more than anything, it's just water. Yeah. It, if you it just put water in, everything. especially if you like, yeah. say if you have like a lot of soda as well, yeah. if you just cut that out without yeah. even drinking water, then yeah, yeah. But you have like, to that's what happened with, with Fine, I'll get rid of this. Zerka Josh. <laughs> Josh, yeah, that's Josh. how he lost so much weight. Yeah, that's what it started, just, right? Yeah, yeah. Start yeah. That. got rid of Dr. Pepper. Dr. And it changed your habits, but yeah, let's get through the rest yeah. of the list. Uh, 15 pages of a book. Each day. So this that is so like, easy though. This doesn't excite me, but if I get a non-fiction. Can we do audiobooks? You have to ask Cow, I guess. Well, that's a good point. Because you could incorporate that into one of the others. But I guess the point is it's to get away from any screen time, etc. But I mean, if I'm walking with an audiobook. Yeah. Uh, but I'm then are you him. trying to cut two out with yeah. one, if you know what I mean? Yeah, I get you. Like, I can find an interesting... Do, ooh, do mangas count? Probably not. No, there's, there's words in them. <laughs> like a... Like comic style or like yeah. proper. No, like a man, like a proper like from the back to the front. I don't know. Hmm, interesting. I doubt it. Yeah, but I like nonfiction. So actually, I could oh, I could read Mrs. Hinch's book again. Not again. Doesn't count as it again, is it? All right. Uh, one workout a day, five times a week, and that workout has to be forty-five minutes minimum, and that can be anything from a walk to a run to. Jim, anything. See, what, what he said was for this challenge, and he'll explain it more, we'll go and find his page, video, wherever it's going to be. What he explained, more, it's not, more than like a diet, more than like a weight loss thing or like a it's fitness a challenge. It's like a, well, uh, uh, more of a routine. Yeah. yeah. More to help, it's a lifestyle. He, he, he called it accountability challenge, right? Yeah. I think it should use that in the terms, you know, it's, it's to keep yourself accountable. Yeah. You know? It's actually a lifestyle change to make yourself fit and healthy. Yeah. And like, yeah. yeah. Uh, stick to your diet six days a week. So whatever your diet goals are, set them at the beginning of the challenge and then stick to it six days a week. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be an actual diet. Yeah. It can just be like, for me, I'd say I want to have, you know, I, I don't want to eat any takeaway. Plus, uh, I need to have three full meals a day. Yeah. Something like that. Even, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying do this, but I think the point is, even if it is like, I have a takeaway on Tuesday and Friday, stick to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Doesn't matter what it could, and then you, yeah. set your week and, and have yeah. discipline. Could be McDonald's every single day. But as long as you stick to it. <laughs> yeah. I think it's more about the routine. Obviously, that's not normally yeah. going to do that. No, but like, yeah. It's more of that like accountability. Because I feel like most of the time when you have like a takeaway, it's like, oh, I'm tired. Or there's a reason for it. Yeah. If you eliminate that reason and make it, make it a routine, then yeah. you know you're yeah. doing it. You're in control it's when like, you're doing oh, it. I feel tired, but no, I've got to do this today because this is what I said. Yeah. Because think about it. Like having a McDonald's or having some sort of takeaway. If you choose to have it, and you and you feel like you deserve it, then that, yeah. that's, that's also good for you, right? Yeah. yeah. Whereas most of the time yourself. you're like, oh man, like 
you know, I feel d- down today, which is a valid reason. But then again, it's like, what, try and do something to fix that. Yeah. And then you can make the decision yourself. Like when yeah. you're, when you're able minded, you know? Yeah, for sure. Was that, was that it? That's all of them. I think, I really think you should have added sleep on there, you know, like, like eight, seven hours, eight hours a day. Cause that, that's, that, that, all these things are all things that help you. And I feel like sleep is a big part it's of true. that. I might, add, I might add that for myself. It might come it's with true, it. But yeah, yeah. at the same time, I also occur. don't think there's, sometimes you can't actually do choose that. But you, no, but you can choose when to go to bed. You know what I'm saying? You choose when to go to bed. But what if you go to bed, for example, you say I've got a shoot at 9 a.m. And I'm not tired at midnight. But I've said I'm going to get eight hours sleep. I'll go to bed at midnight. Get, get in bed then. You know, you got but then I'm just lying there. But that's, isn't, don't you think that's excuses of why, you know, that's excuses of why you won't, won't do that. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. But or, at the same time, go, I think that's one you can't physically, you can't implement. actually control yeah. every every bit of it. That's not, it's very little to do with willpower and a lot to do with like body clock. Because like you can you can lie there and you can say I'm not going to do anything. But you may not fall asleep for four hours. Yeah. But don't you think, that's what I'm saying, don't you, you think that, still do it. That, that inability to fall asleep could be you not choosing when to go to sleep properly? Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, well, I think be... you could set yourself a, a like a bedtime basically for the whole time. But I think saying every day I'm going to get this much sleep, I think you can't really choose. Yeah. Because sometimes I might literally go to bed at twelve every day, so I've set a bedtime or whatever. But I might not fall asleep one day until one, and every day I'm waking up at eight. Yeah, but then so that sh- day surely, I'm at seven. Surely over time though, like you would be, you'd, yeah, you'd be getting closer to that because you're like forcing. I it. guess. Or, or, or even decisions, you know. I'm not, I'm not even saying bedtime really. That that would be a good one, but like just. So, right, whatever it is, I'm going to try and get eight hours sleep. So I want to wake up. I have to wake up tomorrow by like by 10, 10 a.m. You, or you have to be out by 10 a.m. I'm going to make sure I go to bed from, you know, 2 a.m. Or yeah. 1 a.m. or 12 a.m. Yeah. You know? yeah, I get you, that. You, you can even still be, you can still be like struggling to fall asleep, watching TV. As long as you're setting that, hopefully yeah. you think that after like a month or so or however long it is, you, your body's yeah. ready. Yeah. Or at the same time, you, you turn shoots down. You know I, mean? I think something for us, in the things that I've learned as, as we go through like doing this job that we do, is you have a lot more like, you have more... Uh, power in saying no than you thought you did. You yeah. know, so, so, you know, sometimes you're gonna do a, a shoot, right? Or like, say you're gonna do like a brand deal. You're like, all right, I've, I've, I've agreed it, blah blah blah. And they're like, oh, we need you here for then. And you, you say like, oh, sorry, but I can't do that. That's not in my. You have to put yourself first. Do you know what I mean, yeah. like, in, in terms of your routine, you know, sometimes you can break no. up. It's got a diva. Not, not even being that, you know, it's just saying, well, you know, like for example, at work, you go to work, right? Nine, nine till five. If they say to you, can you come in at seven? Can you can you stay till seven p.m. tomorrow? You're not legally obliged to do that. You say sorry. You're like, I'm, I'm, my, my hours are nine to five. You know, yeah. at, at this point, I'm relaxing and I'm working on myself and my home. Yeah. Same thing here, really. You realistically you have to like have these things. Obviously, if it's one shoot, you're like, okay, I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. But sometimes you got to think for yourself. Like, like say, say like Reeve, right? Say Reeve sleeps at like midnight every night, and we're saying, oh, do you want to come play this game at like two? He's like, nah, I'm not. True. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Whereas we would be like, yeah, sure. But then we'd that us staying up yeah. for that late one night could ruin us for an entire yeah. week. Yeah. True. True. Well, yeah, that's his. Uh, that's the cow freezy challenge. Um. Even the thought of it right now is like exercise. Actually, like I, I just I so badly want to be in a routine where I exercise. What exercise time. would you want to do that apart from gymnastics? Because I know you always say like I'd love to go to gymnastics with um, someone. I like conditioning, like body conditioning. I don't know if you call it that at the gym. Like, like what? Sit ups, press ups. Okay, that sort of thing. Cause body weight stuff though. So yeah, everything with like your body weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that like because I obviously used to do that as a gymnast. I used to do a lot of it. Running, I just I just don't think I can do it because my hips. Um, and then I don't know what else I would. Well, what about stuff like yoga, Pilates? Um, I just feel like it. Like I like the idea of it. I just feel like it drags everything out. Like me doing, like me doing a stretch or pulling like this position that holds this weight in my body. I just do 10 press ups rather than hold that position. Like I'm pulling the same weight. I'm doing the same part of my body. I don't like elongated things for the sake of like, I don't like all that, bro- like all the, like, okay, now we'll hold this pose for 10 yeah. seconds. And now we'll do that. And it's like, okay, I just want to get it done. <laughs> I have I guess, but it all does it differently. Yeah, I suppose. I just don't think, I don't know. If that, I, I'd try it. I'd try it. But I tried yoga once and they made me like go to sleep and it was really weird. And they were like, okay, now everyone think about your day. And I was like, well, this is not what me and my mom, me and my mom were like literally trying not to cry with laughter, looking at each other, lying on the floor of this town hall. And she was like, and now think about your week. And what would you change? We were like, this, this is <laughs> like, what do you mean? What, like, what, why are we talking about our week? We're just trying to get fit. And so back. what exercise would you choose if you, if you do take up this challenge? Probably conditioning. So what you do like 45 minutes of just like, yeah. Press up, sit ups. Yeah. What about you? Literally just walking. 
And I was watching watch a walk as well or something. Watch a TikTok yesterday that was like, um, you've probably seen it on your few page, few pages. I feel like TikTok nowadays, we all have the same one. You know what I'm saying? It's like now it's merged into yeah. one. He was like, look, he like, are you gonna run? Are you gonna run every day? Like, I'm, like, I'm like, not really. Like, I think, I think <laughs> no. let's go back a little bit. I think one of the issues now we have with social media and like, especially the fitness side of it. Like, the fitness side is very healthy. Obviously, it's very good to preach about fitness and help people. One problem though is that like it's unrealistic. You know, it can be very yeah. unrealistic. Just as yeah. just as like um, you know, body pics or like yeah. you know the angle, the certain angles and stuff yeah. can be very like misleading and inaccurate. I think fitness can be as well. Like sometimes yeah. you'll see someone you know at the gym go mental. Fo- yeah. Follow this guy and it's like you know uh, twenty burpees or something. I, I can't do twenty burpees really. So it's like yeah. you got to build your way up to it. But then this guy, so this guy did a TikTok. He was like, you know what? I, I, are you gonna run every day? He's like, you're gonna come home from work. You're gonna be like, I just can't bother to run. But could you walk? He's like. Yeah, you definitely could go on a walk and take it slow. And he's saying like, you know, twenty minutes of, of running, in a, an hour an hour of work of walking could do what twenty minutes of running does to your to your body. Yeah. I think he said that you know running is very like, it's not that efficient for energy. Like you you, you use a lot of energy. Sprints yeah. are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus what versus what you actually have to do for it. Yeah. Whereas like walking for a lo- obviously longer period of time yeah. is it can do as much as running can. Obviously running is better, but like, will you do it? You know yeah. saying? I think sometimes it's with fitness challenges, when, yeah, yeah, and that's why I like this challenge actually because it's like it's more it's holding yourself accountable. It achievable yeah. as well. Yeah. Like, whereas fitness fitness feb was like that, that was worse, was, right? yeah. that was the opposite. Like, that was yeah. like who's gonna die first. That was yeah, essentially yeah. what fitness feb was. Yeah, it's like who can run the furthest, who can blah blah blah, put the body through so much pain. Let's see yeah. who's just not gonna pass out. Yeah. Whereas like walk I, I, every day, I can walk, I can go walk happily. Yeah. You know, for an hour. But what if it's raining, like pouring down? And if I, I mean we've got a uh, got some weights in the flat, you know. Um, it's also only five five days. Is it? Five days a week. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so if it's rain, you could go right. I'll skip today and then hopefully you might get like a whole week of rain. Yeah. So here's how you do it. Yeah. Here's how you do it. If you want to be super efficient, right? You wake up immediately, get a pint of what cold water down that. Then you do read no no. Then you read fifteen minutes of a book. Just thought in the morning. What you coffee if you want a coffee or whatever you want to do. Breakfast maybe. Wake, wake up. Then you go to do your exercise, whether it be running, mm-hmm. walking, whatever you want to do. Then you get home. Uh, yeah, get home. Have your cold shower. Have your cold shower after you've you know done something. See, if you sweating a, a bit. That would be perfect. Get in a sauna. Have a cold shower. Yeah. Right now, I'd love a cold shower. I'm so hot. Although I do, I, I do think they say as soon as you wake up, cold shower. Though I think I think that's as soon as you that's wake up more is very important. Yeah. yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you wanted to, do, if you wanted to like be as efficient as possible, that's what I'd probably probably do. Mm. That covers everything, right? Apart from the eating. Apart from the eating. But, yeah. yeah. You, know, you, you can't eat. Any, you can't. You can't. Eat all your stuff in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm done by nine a.m. You could yeah. do. You could, do, you could do the intermittent fasting. <laughs> yeah, stick to that. Yeah, yeah true. If you want to, I do not. You need a lot of mental. <laughs> you need a lot of mental control though to not eat anything for the rest of the day. Yeah. Mm. You, have to, you have to eat a lot in the morning. If you eat a lot, it's going to mess up your exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the Cal Fuji challenge. I mean, do you want to talk about anything else? I think. Um, I think let's let's talk. There's, there's one aspect we can speak about. Okay. Which is the Logan Paul. Yeah, so Logan is the masked singer. Oh yeah, I saw that. Because you you put it in the group chat when it was speculating could yeah. this be Logan Paul, and it did sound. Well, so, I showed you it as well. Yeah, we both were like, yeah, this has to be. Him. Yeah, and there was like, like certain notes you were like, yeah, uh, yeah, and like, then he would hit another note, and, like, yeah. and you're like, that's that is Logan yeah. Paul. Yeah, but then then there were. So let's just go back a little bit. So for those who don't know, the masked singer is a show in America, but I think they also do one in the UK. Yeah, I think so. Or they're gonna. Um, I think I think it's the biggest show in America right now. Uh, the way it works is someone will be in a costume. Or a mask, you know, whatever they want to be, and they'll be singing. And then usually it's a celebrity, right? Or every, every time it's, it's yeah, it's always a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a celebrity. Recently, Sam put into the group chat, uh, and and many people in the world thought this was Logan Paul. So you, but when you put it in, right? I I did immediately think, yeah, it sounds like him. But I think there are certain words or certain phrases that I was like, oh, maybe yeah. not now. I did the exact same. He, we played it, and I was like, oh yeah, this has to be. And then he did a couple words, so I was like, that actually could be someone else. Like that really didn't sound like how I'd picture him saying it. And what? I think that doubt, but... that doubt makes you doubt it more than you believe yeah. it. Well, because we went to New York after the Miami, fo- the Gib fight. Yeah. And that's where I first ever saw a Masked Singer. We saw yeah. it on the TV. You were raving about it a lot. And I was literally back. like, this show is that like, is and, and I really want to know who, we saw like one or two acts. Yeah. And we didn't the know T-Pain, who. Didn't you? Uh, huh? You saw T-Pain? We told me about T-Pain. I think one. it was T-Pain in the end. Yeah, but we didn't know. We didn't know. Because mm. they didn't, they don't show, they only show the person that goes out. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so we're sat there like not knowing who we're watching. It's really annoying. And then yeah. about four months later, I go, Tyler, you remember that TV was... show we watched? It was T-Pain. Yeah. yeah. And then like last season, I think they had Lil Wayne on or something as well. Or recently yeah. they had Lil Wayne on. 
Um, and then I saw this clip on, I think Breadbatch posted it. And I was like, I listened to it and I was like, oh my God, that is Logan Paul. Put it yeah. in the chat. And I think Ethan was like, yeah, it could be, but I think he's way too busy for that or something like that. Yeah. And then I was like, no, I listened to it though. Like it is him. And then literally two days later, Bread Batch puts, oh yeah, it is Logan, it's Logan, yeah. It is Logan Paul. Paul. Yeah. yeah. But it is mad. Like that is a, that's like the biggest TV show in America right now. Yeah, so and wild. it was his birthday. April and, 1st. Yeah. And he got flown out to, to feature on SmackDown. Either. Yeah. It was on, did you see my Insta story? Yeah. Last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, you know, I didn't mean to watch that. You just watching it. No, I turned you, you, you the didn't TV know he was on. Be on either. Well, I knew he was on WWE, right, but right. I didn't know. So basically, I had left it on from the Chelsea match like two days ago. Mm. And then I turned it on and I literally, at the exact moment my Insta went up, it's like, oh, I'd like to welcome our special guest, Logan Paul. And I was like, that Bro. timing is mad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we got JJ on. And then Great, Great British, British Bake, Bake Off, Off as well. Which, by the way, that happened so long ago, didn't it? So, well, he's got I, red hair. I red didn't realise. Like, when it came out, I was like, oh, yeah, like, this is just a rerun. I didn't realise it hadn't been aired. No. Yeah, I, I, I always assumed when he did it, it was going to be for a Christmas special. Yeah. Because it, it was early enough for it to even be that. Yeah. Do you know how yeah. Christmas stuff they do, like, yeah. in April type thing? Yeah. It's so early. It was literally like a year ago. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was like, genuinely oh. thought it had already been aired. It never came out. I was out. like, oh, yeah, I've seen this. But that is mad that... Uh, both of them were on like the respective biggest shows. Yeah, that's mad. This is the perfect example of like not, not, well, it, it could be not realizing the actual like uh, landscape of entertainment or online. Yeah. Like, yeah. like we, right now, like what well, they are, like L Logan Paul, Jake Paul, KSI, like the biggest celebrity. Yeah. I mean, like, look at the Jake Paul and Ben Askren fight. It's huge. Yeah. Whereas when, when, when we, it's like we're in a bubble, we don't realize we are. Like, you know, yeah. for example, in Pokemon, when I was three, four years ago, like I was in Pokemon and I I felt like I do now. Like, oh, these cards are super rare. These cards are super expensive. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I thought, I thought everyone knew that. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm not going to buy that card. It's always, always going to be the, you know, this. Yeah. The trials was like, in a 10, it was like 30, 20 grand. I was like, oh, it's always going to be like that. Whereas like, it starts growing now and it's like, oh my God, it's mental, you know? Yeah. So like, like at the same time, I always, I've always seen KSI as big as he is now, but obviously he wasn't. No, yeah. to me he was because I know who he is and what, yeah. what, and what he's worth. Like he's not got any more popular in our circle. No, yeah, he's yeah. just scaled, right? Yeah. Whereas, but, but, but outside, outside our circle, that bubble, massive. Yeah. So it's like you know. But the other thing about Logan was he said on his podcast like oh, he wants to thank JJ because uh, JJ allowed him that opportunity to fight, mm. and he was like, thank yeah, I kind really. of fought back. Yeah. I fought back my credibility, etc. Um, and it is actually so mad if you think about it how that fight, mm -hmm. how it ended. I think was almost ideal for everyone. Yeah. And I'd actually say it's more ideal for Logan as well. I know he lost and him winning could have been sick. Yeah. But I think because he was the villain in that fight, mm. JJ was the like hero. Yeah. If Logan won, I think a lot of people would have been like, oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. Like he and won again. I feel like if Logan won, he would have, he would have had the danger of being too cocky. Again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think him losing... Was perfect for him. Yeah. He needed but a reality check. Not getting right? knocked out. Yeah, yeah. None of this. Like questionable whether he lost. You know yeah, that kind of yeah, thing. Like yeah, yeah like you know, a close fight. It, yeah. it, it's good that he dropped it as well. It's good that he dropped the appeal and didn't push yeah, that. He could have looked very, very <laughs> yeah salty. Not 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 even because we're Team KSI. You know. And then JJ again, if he had he won, but if he had won easily, again could have been a an ego thing. Yeah. Because he won, it was like okay, I worked really hard for that. I won. But like, not convincingly enough that, well, he won convincingly, but not enough to be like, I can drop everything. I'm yeah. sick. Yeah, let's just do this, do this. Yeah, now it's like, okay, cool. I can carry on working well this hard and I can yeah. achieve anything kind of thing. Yeah. And then both of them together, like that fight just meant, like if JJ had won, it, like it could have been like that. Yeah. If Logan had won, it could have been like that. But this one literally has made both of them yeah. just fly even yeah. further. Yeah, it's been insane. And now that, yeah, they're both just killing it. So it's like, it exactly. is, it is actually unreal how perfect that worked out. Yeah, wild. Because it was fake. No, <laughs> yeah. It was staged. But that, yeah, that fight, um, they're both doing amazing things. One day. I love that. One day we'll be there. One day. One day, <laughs> one day team. Yeah. Once we finish our. After the fitness. I was going to say, challenge. once we finish our Cal Freezy fitness yeah. challenge. Yeah. And we, 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 we become superhumans. Yeah. Super motivated. That is it. I think, I think. I think what's like most inspiring about like people who do well is that they're actually like they're where they deserve to be. If that makes sense. Like I, I feel like yeah. I've got so much more potential than I actually 
perform. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is good, but it's also like, it's quite, it's like, come on. It's annoying at the same time. Yeah, I it? feel that. Because like, you feel like, oh, you can do great things. You know, you're better than what you, what you are, even though you're doing well. But it's like, oh, if you can just like, focus more or fix yeah. certain things that hold you back it's even more powerful that's why like, like logan i like you have to respect logan because you can tell like he you know he wakes up and gets stuff done do you know what i mean yeah. like, he, he, he he doesn't he obviously makes mistakes but i feel like you know he'll wake up he'll work out you know what i'm saying yeah. he'll run he'll drink his water he'll no actually, excuses no excuses yeah, yeah. you are, you have to hold yourself accountable same with jj as well yeah and yeah, yeah. like for example so many times on tour or so many times working with jj mm. he'd do, he'd get something and just do it yeah. So like even something small, like he'll get a bill, right? Or he'll have to pay someone. I'll just yeah. pay him now. I'll I'll be like, I'll pay him tomorrow. I know he's stuff like that. Why? Well, like, just, yeah, like, yeah. It, just, it takes you five minutes to pay yeah. it now. He always does it, you know. Or, yeah. or or say if he, you know, I need to go for a run today, he'll think, right, I'll just get it done. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm like, I'll never do it. <laughs> I don't even have the. I'll do it tomorrow. Mentality. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, half the stuff he does for like press, I'd turn it down. I'm like, nah. That's yeah. Just, I'm not getting. Well, I'm getting up at six a.m. to go on Lorraine. Nah. Yeah. Like, nah, I'll, I'll do that one. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean, I would as well. I love Lorraine. Yeah, he does. But it's something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's things that we would turn yeah, down. Yeah. Can't be asked, man. He was like, you know, I have to do this to get to where Just I want to be. Yeah. 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 Right well, on. one day. One day. Even if like, I accept the fight, like, I don't even accept it. No. That's part, you know. Anyway. But yeah, that's uh, well, yeah, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna call it there. We're gonna be depressed off camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna call it there. Um, as we said in the intro. Thank you. And also check out Tali's new song. Yeah, check it out. This yeah. Friday. Run up, pre-save it, right? Yeah. Go on your song. socials. Mm -hmm. Click the thing, pre-save it. Click the link in the description. Let's put a link in the description. It is one of those songs that I genuinely think if it can just get to like, get to near the top of the chart. Yeah. It would just stay there. Mm. You know is what it, I mean? It's just like, it's a classic summer song. Like yeah. Bouncy. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> to promo again yeah and the week after uh but yeah we will see you guys next week yeah josh next week it's like the cat's out of the bag josh, josh yeah next week. If, we, if we don't have josh next week it's his fault yeah, <laughs> yeah he actually would be but to, to be fair like i can't believe it's taking this long to get josh on let's wait till he's on we'll chat to him <laughs> <laughs> we'll chat to him but yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for listening check out talia and everything and the yeah. song and everything in the description oh. and expressvpn too. and expressvpn peace bye